before we start, can I, can I go pee? Yeah, I'm joking. Go we'll take a tinkle. I was about to say, you waited till now. <laughs> Until we said, are we live? Like, like, can I go pee? Mm. It's like, what is the act? What is pee for? Is it short for piss? Obviously not urinate. Mm. I think right? it's short for piss. It's short for piss. Yeah, yeah piss. Piss. I would think. Or piss is long for pee. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's always the it's always the curse ver- the curse version that comes later, right? Right. Oh, doesn't that come first? Now I'm really thinking like where did the, the root word of pee come from? Yeah. 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 It is penis. Yeah. It comes from penis. I got a penis. Well, women, no, have, women don't have a penis. penis. Touche. Yeah. And it will it'd be weird if so. we call be, it like any go. kind of animal, whatever. Oh, that they're they're peeing. They're I gotta go, yeah. It might not be a penis. I gotta go you. Yeah, I gotta you you urinate. I gotta urinate. Yeah, yeah. I gotta take a Yui. Everybody's gonna be like, everybody, you say that, everybody thinks something's coming out of your butt. But then Yui's like a U turn. Yeah. You gotta do a Yui. I'm about to hit, Where did pee come from? Yeah, so, <coughs> to urinate, discharge the fluid secreted by the kidneys. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so from an old French pissier. 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 This is uh, pissier. Means urinate. Oh. oh. Pissier. From a vulgar Latin piss. PCR. PCR. Oh. Can, can you let me read? <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering how long that was going to take. <laughs> Are you going to go in the corner? Shit, and you on, me... <laughs> I can read. I'm obviously not in French. Tony is hilarious. Pissier, I said it correctly. I took French one and two. I was like, what? You know what I'm saying? All that looking over my shoulder. Look out. <laughs> I can see little pictures of pictures. <laughs> 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 Looking at words. God damn. <laughs> it, 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 it's as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, glasses on. You I think just, you can I, read I, better I'm than that? I'm just saying. Anything? I expect it better. What's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> expect it better? There was nothing even to say. I don't think you right. You were saying the words in a way that didn't make no sense. I saw you said it wrong. You said piss. I'm just saying you don't know. I said pissy. I feel like I feel like Tony's hostile because he was late today. It's a lot of hostility going on. I was late. I think that's what that is, man. Y'all right. pissing him off. Are right you okay, Brandon? That's two down. That was well done. Huh? <laughs> two down. Now you're pissing, Only three them, pissing them off. Let's go, baby. It's a horror movie. I had to get here early, man, because that last two weeks is too stressful. To get here at 1044, two weeks in a I was like, this is too stressful. I can't live like this. <laughs> yeah. That's how punctual people live their life. Who came, who came the furthest? Who came to furthest? Tony yeah. comes. Uh, Tony he's comes from Santa Rita. Well, today is you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today is you. Where did you come from? They, uh, downtown. Yeah, no, he was getting mad early. He got here like 10 minutes. Yeah, downtown, no. Hey, downtown hey, is not as far as Tony. Hey, yeah, it oh, is. That's shit. not is me. me? That's not, that, that sounds like it might be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was <laughs> That's probably going <laughs> off of that. Downtown's long. closer here than you think. Yeah. Yeah. I well, mean, or somebody just hit it. Look at that. Right. I can look at it. Put the address in there. I don't think. Downtown From where Tony right comes? No. Why are you looking like at him? It's funny how we don't oh. care. No one's yeah, actually alarmed by the alarm putting alarm on other things besides right. you putting it. Like your, alarm is being like somebody's like breaking in your car. The so. more hit it, the car gets hit, the <laughs> alarm goes like, on. Oh, Let me help yeah, the robber, yeah, right? Criminals feel the same way. Nah, we get we get through this. I was literally sitting on it, though. Pause, nigga. Pause for sitting on it? Hey, Dion will pause you for everything, bro. So it's 34 minutes of downtown that way. What part of downtown? You talking about North downtown? You know what I'm saying? And, and the, give me uh, address. Once whoa, you get whoa, once you whoa, get man. downtown, right. give me the address. Game. Nine one five. Uh-huh. Mateo. Mm-hmm. Is that the that's studio? My, that's my office. Yep. Now give me give him the house. Give him the house address. <laughs> give him the house. Same <laughs> give him the house. <laughs> the the same minutes. I, did. Did you, I know it's downtown. But then, did you get the zip code in? <laughs> no, man, listen. Once so, you downtown, you you. There. But I think I might be a little closer. Let's see. Let's see. Because there's gonna be less traffic going. My, my you talk, you're talking minutes or miles? You're talking miles or minutes? Oh, miles. Okay, so it's 24 minutes to my house. Two miles. Because there's, there's, a, there's a bottleneck in a couple places. You have an easy... You have 14 easy. miles to my career. Mm, Mateo you know. Street is... It's not giving me the miles. It should be closer. Let's see. Closer I get to you. 28 miles. Come on! So, let's go! It's it's money, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> my gas money. <laughs> That you came further? It's gas money, nigga. About four miles? Mm. Question, all right, question about the late jar. I don't know what we already decided as far as what happens at the end. Is it everybody gets the split or are we saving it for the end of the year? The person who has the late, the less late, least late gets the money? Ooh. What is the, Ooh. what is the, did we ever say what was going on I with think, the money? Uh, it should. Chaz still owes for book, <laughs> booking a no show. I feel oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel so like Chaz is negated from the pot. 
What? This right now ridiculous. you are though. Since you don't want to pay for your wait no a, show. Wait a minute. Yes. Had that been an established Ooh. rule, I would uh, 100%. I mean, we, we didn't think it would ever happen. You, well, you should have thought of it. That's not my fault. And, <laughs> I, I, and, we, and I asked. we were asked. talking about tardy, not no yeah, show. Yeah, right. no, no, were next, le- you were had, next level, bro. You, had wait, you just time. straight up just didn't show up? No, no. no, no, no. He was here. He to turned here around and said, I'm not coming. I'm not going. <laughs> my he guest. Be like, my guest. Didn't he didn't show. guide his guest here. I, that oh. is not what and Chaz happened. feels like he mm-hmm. owes nothing to nothing because it wasn't a rule we established. Now I asked that day, the day we were doing everything, I was like, "So what happens when you asked somebody the guest was the, late with, with the other person?" That was a great chance to say. Yeah. It was a great mm-hmm. chance to add it. And we you guys, just, you guys we rejected we that. About that. We weren't thinking about the impossible. Okay, yeah. well, you should have thought about it. You shouldn't have thought about it. You should have. Every, I mean, every wow. time there has to be an example made out of somebody. No, so, Chaz, Chaz, so now we Chaz know for the next time. <laughs> Chaz doesn't do a good job of like taking like ownership of some stuff. He like, doesn't, he, bro. bro not. Like when no, he's he like, it's not. I'll he doesn't own do a good it job. when I need mm-hmm. to own it. That's, mm-hmm. no, we oh, should have. Really? Now, it, next time it happens, <laughs> next time it happens, I will <laughs> own it. I will be like, you know what? You guys well, are right. Easy to own it then. Well, yeah. Yeah. Now that's all about we're asking, we're asking right. you to, to no. be a man of honor. No, you're over no. here just like, I'm no not. Honor. There is no honor. That's, no that's honor, bro. You didn't even let me finish no. it. Like, <laughs> you like, you like offended that I even brought up the <laughs> no, word honor. Honor integrity? No. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Integrity? Hashtag classless <laughs> bastard. What else do you want to do? Wow, you're just leaning Please. into it. All right, yeah, what here do you we go. I'm not doing that. What would you do, Dia? Would you be honorable? If your guest didn't show. Would you be a man of integrity? Um, yeah, I'd be upset. Well, he's actually not even a guest. He's actually a part of the team. So he had easy access to, to respond to everybody by saying, hey, I can't come in today. And that's not what happened. No. My guest didn't show. Yeah, his guest oh. didn't show. So Chaz booked someone, booked... Um, and they didn't show. And they didn't show. Mm-hmm. Got you. But when you book a guest, uh, when we book a guest, it's our job to be like, hey, get there at this time. But did you tell everybody... That they coming in? Yes, yeah. we had a, we had our mouth all water for them. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, we were excited about solid, it. Solid guests, okay. you know. We wanted to have them uh, on first. Uh, I didn't get the call, <clears throat> so I'm always on time. Secondly, <laughs> wow. Second, yeah, yeah, sure. Dion does uh-huh. show up. Yeah. I asked him yesterday. He's here now. Yeah. Secondly, mm-hmm. um, it's not Chad's fault. Mm-hmm. I agree with you. Thank you. It's not oh, Chad's man. fault. It is, the, but whose fault is it then? Who's the person it? who no call, no show. Right. But the thing is, like, you're the one who ma- you made you pick that person. You're the one with the judgment, saying this is the person who I choose mm-hmm. to take my responsibility. Yeah. Right. Whose responsibility is it? And well, I, if, I'd if, if that this person was a job, again, too. which is actually is it a is a job. It is a job. And you, and you, and you go to the boss and say, "Hey, wait, wait, if DC's this was working a job, for as in as this in is work. <laughs> yeah, I get it. But as in, like, if this was like we working at Arby's, uh-huh. and I say, "Hey, but Mr. Ralston, DC is gonna come to work for me." He say, "Okay, got it." Okay, so let's say you have a you have a comedy show tonight. And you're supposed to be a part of this lineup. How you you're gonna not change able the to do scenario? Because that scenario <laughs> don't make no sense because we don't have a manager here that's gonna oversee and can I talk to another booker, one of the employees. Hey, so and so's coming up before me. Yeah, Brennan's so making a solid come. point. Well, I'm saying is like there's no manager in the space. So if you are booked to do something mm-hmm. and then you change that booking to the person who booked you and say, hey, person who booked me, I won't be here, but I got this person to replace me, that person doesn't come, that's your fault. Right. Preach, the, Brennan. The difference is, is he the only person on the show? Is it a one man show? Doesn't matter. Your responsibility. Because talking, if we have we're no talking talent, about, that's a difference. But we're talking about responsibility here. We're not talking about the the show. We're talking about your responsibility was for that spot. You said I am taking this responsibility and putting in this. I'm owning that and saying I <laughs> will re- fulfill this spot right here. I got this. I do this. Hmm? I'm responsible. Wow. And then you did if do you it. You relinquish the power. Hey, hey, you don't hey, relinquish. You, you still you, own it. But you're you saying here's how. With him, he's the new talent. But so the thing tell is, him and so when that park, person doesn't. Tell him so the, when that person doesn't come, then you have to be the one to take the responsibility. <laughs> you have to own that. Yeah. Yeah. You got to yeah. take that on. Wait, wait. That's the that's the rule we have. Is like if you miss a day, you are responsible for finding your filling. For finding. Yes. Your guests. And he he make did. sure they no did. matter what, but the they have to make sure they do it. But if they don't do it, that's pers- that's a person you pick. He could have picked someone else. They could have picked you, Dion. Who? Right. And you. He didn't. For who? Kyle Irby. Cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Why you over he was there? Over here sitting <laughs> shooting <laughs> Chaz up with two loaded you know, clips. Hey, you know what's funny? D- this happened last week in DC. Now wait a minute. Yeah, DC got out the hot seat <laughs> last week. Wait a minute. Between Dion and Brennan, before money was established, but. You doing a lot of shooting over yeah, there, yeah. and you yourself. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You know what? I want to be a man of honor here. <laughs> oh, 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 the wallet. Put it in. Yo, look at hey, put wait, that wait, 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 oh, wait. Oh, oh, No, 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 no. Look Chaz in the eye. Look Chaz in the eye. Integrity. Man of integrity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Taz is clapping integrity. for him. You have great integrity. Don't take that money out either. Integrity. integrity. That's great integrity. <laughs> yeah. Yours? Y'all take, y'all take zeal. Where can we keep this money, by the way? Yeah. Are you keep it in my. I could, you could put it in a drawer in my office if you want. Can we trust you? 
I hope so. We don't count the cash. Do I really got to pay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I no. Y'all trust me with much no, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 you're not integrity. Why are you asking, Mr. Integrity? No, I'm saying. Integrity doesn't ask. We integrity <laughs> does. Right? What you asking for? You do it because it's your honor. No, because it don't, wasn't. Don't look at that money sweat. It wasn't a rule yet, bro. Oh, 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 interesting. <laughs> Very interesting, DC. That wasn't a rule yet? You, no, that wasn't established in our bylaws? Uh. It wasn't? That wasn't concrete written in stone? We had even talked about it yet though. that's crazy and we hadn't even talked I about felt it like <laughs> i said that exact thing <laughs> but he has the money in there <laughs> 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 he took it out if chaz is right oh wow <laughs> no it's no okay, no, no. he's right because we didn't have that exact rule established now mm. i i apologized right yeah i would take full on i felt like, I felt like, a, I felt like a renege what? DC? So you put it in and you just mm-hmm. DC it don't have no honor. Come bro, on, man. I, I, he has more than you. At least he took the money out. What does like, that even matter? I put it so in, put it in take it back it, out. That's I made honorable. I mean, he re- there's there's no. more honor in that he's owning and there's seeing that. There's more honor in initial... me standing by what I am than DC's punk ass. No, but in, no, in my defense, in in my, no, in my defense, it wasn't even a topic yet. I will pay for DC and <laughs> Oh, oh wow. 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 Integrity. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I might as well just take my tail. No, no, no. <laughs> your, yours was an established rule. Wait a minute. Doing, your, wait, yours was an established rule. No, bro, you can't. So I guess. Nothing. Nothing. Wait, Craig, Craig paid up. <laughs> I mean, so the question, so then the, the, the rule now, moving forward, is that out of curiosity, this is what I'm interpreting. Y'all let me know. Is that, is it 1045? That's the time. That's 1045. You have to be you in, in here, you have in to be here. across that threshold of that door yeah. at 1045, or your guest has if, to be here at that time. Once it hits 1046. Does it count for your guest as well? Because let's say, for example, today, Keon, I am his guest. If I walk in here at 1046, does Keon owe $10? Yeah, so Keon owes $10. He so, was okay. late. All right, but I was in the building, but it doesn't matter. I wasn't nah. across this, the threshold. Wait, wait, wait. Nah, this is what I asked. This is exactly what I asked last time. You guys said no. If your guest is late, that is what I asked. You guys said no. That's what I... So are we changing that? I think it should be for the guest, too. I personally think so. Because, because you didn't want to be responsible for somebody else's lateness. I knew he was going to do that. Come I was, on. I was trying to help y'all. Out. I don't want to trust the guest's okay. lateness. All but right. the show up. Oh, absolutely. Oh. The show up is crazy. So you can trust the guest to be on time, but I have to have the same amount... It's the same amount of trust no, as this person worse if show they don't show it all. I can't do anything up. about that. But, but it's, still, they, it's, still a, it's still your responsibility. What, if Keon, what Keon did, what he double booked one time. He booked somebody well, did, and showed did, up. Did, wait, didn't you hear? <laughs> did, 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 wait, did, didn't didn't your guest say you didn't remind He's take him? Take money out. Like, that's not what my guest. I took that on. I said I should have hit him with the reminder oh, the night right. before. I should have. Okay. Oh, so that's further your fault, then. Yeah, I mean, I'll say like, man, I could have done more to remind my guest, but man. also when Damn. I hit my guy. So wait, so wait, so what is the rule, Tony? What is the rule? So if your guest pulls a no show, you owe. Okay, but if they're late, it doesn't you yeah. don't owe. Yeah, but anybody, anybody, too much on but guest, anybody right. else is physically no not across not that as, threshold. I don't understand that. I agree. Look, no I, show wait, 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 wait. I, no, I agree with that. I oh. and I agree with the rule. I don't yeah. want to change the, the rule. No show. Right. I don't want to change that. Yeah. What I'm asking is, if the, if the re- you're taking the responsibility off the person for being late, how do you not take the responsibility off the person for no showing? Because, because you you're not in control of either one. Me, I can't control this person being on time but, but either the, way. It but goes. the tardiness that's that's more of a. You know, you I don't want to burden the guests yeah. like that, that with extra. You know, you got the tardiness is for us. Yeah, that's fine. We're that's for the weirdest, weirdest. Yeah, but but it's the same thing. If I remind somebody and they get a flat tire, they they don't get here. They forget. They don't. I'm like, well, how, what am I supposed to do about that? Like, how can you're how, supposed to take ten dollars out of control? You take ten dollars out of your wallet and put it into in your guests. The, Tony, if I hit the guy, what are you asking for? I'm not asking for anything. I'm saying, what rule do you want? Yeah, no, no. I I think which I'm fine with the rule as it is. What do you think? I'm not gonna. I think that you're not responsible for this guest who you can't control what time they get I, up. I agree. But how they get here, how important it is to them. I can't mm-hmm. control any of that, right? All I can go is like, next time I know this person, don't book them or book them, right? I, Damn, I can't tell that. $10. Now, now, look, I'm fine with <laughs> paying the 10 for the future of the guests not coming up. Uh-huh. I'm more than fine with you that. Hit a, you hit I just there. don't see the difference. Yeah, I had to make inflation. You hit that. You hit I just that. don't <laughs> see the difference uh, from the late to the uh, absent of... Why that's the, why you taking responsibility for one and not for the other when you don't control either one? It's like you don't you're not controlling either one. So why are you paying for one? Because the, the no other? show is worse to the show. No show, I, I, what it is. I, no show, show like, is nuts. So look, okay. you said the we, thing we're not bit, putting the foot on yeah. the neck of a guest okay. that's doing us a solid. Okay, to and the other side of it is absolutely on yeah. time at ten forty five on the dot. This that's is the most Chaz thing that. ever, though. He's like, I agree with the rule, but let me argue with it anyway. I don't know why he's arguing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like you like, agree, the rule is out there. I'm gonna agree. The tardiness is for us because we always. That's why. No, no, no. I I agree with it because I go like I'm not trying to argue that. 
I you just you just want to understand. Thank you. That's it. I just go like this doesn't make what? sense to me <laughs> that you take responsibility <laughs> for one and but not responsibility for the other. I don't know why when I you don't control comeback. either. Right? So that's, that's what ball. I'm saying. I, I agree with you. Jack. So I go like, well, I can't control whether this person's <laughs> absent or tardy. I don't, I'm not, so why am I responsible? But like I said, I'm fine with yeah, it. No shows and tardies are not the same thing. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. They're not built equally. Levels. I agree. That's fine with me. You can be late for a movie and still see the movie. Not the beginning. You know, show in the movie, you missed the whole goddamn movie. If you missed the beginning, I was uh, in it. Uh, I did miss the very beginning of John Wick, though. I was very upset. I didn't know what happened in the Why first was late? two minutes. You know, what's her name? The previews are oh, important. Blame it on yo. Yeah, yo, you in here? She ain't in here yet. Is she? I had to look first. <laughs> I know, you looked over. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me see. You gave that little beady eye look. Mm-hmm. Like, she in there? I, I, I hate no being late to the movies. <laughs> I have to see the previews. They, it's like, oh, it's like, so I got to see the previews now. If I don't catch a preview. Now that I'm in a place where it's a lot of trailers I want to avoid. Yes. I don't. I don't rush Wait, for the trailer. Why do you want to? I never understood you don't that. Why do y'all be avoiding trailers? Because, because they be showing bro. too much. And then yeah. t- show you an entire and movie. They be showing. They be making like three trailers per movie. That's, that, crazy. That, that's crazy. That's so giving you the movie. Like, y'all There's just no surprise when you watch it. But, yeah. but but look, when I watched Black Panther for the first time, I don't. Mm-hmm. I haven't watched trailers in a long time. When I saw Black Panther for fresh eyes, bro, I was like, wow. I didn't see any of this. It looks amazing when you don't know exa- at all what you're seeing. You're seeing it very. But like it's different when you do see the trailer and you go, oh, I was looking at this. Are you like, waiting for that? So one what y'all part? prefer, just the poster? Yeah, I, I saw. I saw a life if it's of a movie pie. I'm already watching. That you already poster. knowing. I don't need to see it. Right. What about a movie you've never seen? Don't That's you fine. Like you know, right? You you watch. But them if for it's those. something I know I'm gonna watch, why do I need to look? Oh, at Oh, that makes that makes sense. I agree with that. I get that. Yeah, I, I see that. I get but that. But so when you're in a movie's in a trailer, if something you know you want to watch comes on, what do you do? I just look down. Yeah. <laughs> you really? <laughs> I, I had to do this. I'm in here doing this. Like, oh, you killed my daddy. You like? I just put my hoodie over my eyes. I get that. That makes sense. It's hard to avoid trailers. That yeah, everywhere, dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I saw a Life of Pie off of a poster. I saw the kid in the boat with a tiger, and I right. said, "What is that?" That's all you need. Great movie, right? But the study says you are pretty much like it's a, it's a commercial to get people into the seats, to keep get people riled up, get like uh, people doing movie reviews of what is it about. They're breaking it down. Yeah. So this this brings the value of the mo- of the movie up if they don't do tra- if they do trailers. Or well, they have to. I get why they do. Oh, it. I understand mm-hmm. trailers. Yeah, yeah. I don't understand three. Yeah. It is ridiculous. Especially Marvel, they'd be like, is this the third yeah, Marvel, final trailer? Marvel was out of control. It'd be three trailers mm-hmm. per. Yeah. All different. They'd be like, yo, man, we yeah. want to show you everything. Yeah. You guys remember the good old days, like when the first Iron Man came out? Like, do you remember how big of a deal that was? Like, was it, it, wasn't, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was a big deal. Yeah, because they didn't. I don't think they knew how big it was going to be. No, I'm, the think, thing is, like, I remember it because it's like, I, I like, I was, you know, I'm a little, little younger than a lot of you guys here. Wait, what are you, what are you trying to say? No, I'm trying to say y'all was in a different experience. How old are you, I'm 36. Well, yeah, you are the youngest. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm a little younger you than got you guys. Good point. Yeah. Um, so for Carry me, I, was, I went to school afterwards, and it was a big thing, you know. Wait, what, high school? I think, yeah, I think it came out like when I was like a 2008? 2008. No, it was like uh, I was in college. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah right. I was in school. Yeah. I was like, oh, we was, everybody was talking about it. Up too much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, was school. Anyway, I went back to school. I got the yeah. monkey bars, and that's it. <laughs> it's time to go see uh my lunchbox. The way he yeah. says school. <laughs> I mean, I was in school. I was, you know, but yeah. I'm just saying. Like, college, I remember. Man. I remember talking to you know people afterwards, and it was like a big deal because there was never, for me at least, there was never a movie like that. Like yeah. when that movie X-Men. came out, like it was just so real. You know, like mm-hmm. like this guy is like cool. I like him. Mm-hmm. He's also a superhero. The, Robert and, Downey. Yeah, Robert Downey. Mm-hmm. And I was already a big fan of Iron Man. Like those are the comics I used to read. But Iron Man was not big. It was, well, you know, it was like a C list. Yeah, what were like you a fan of Robert Downey for? Like before. I wasn't a big fan of Robert Downey oh. before that. I didn't really know who he was before that. Oh, man. Okay. I really didn't mm-hmm. even. I know. Look, you know, yeah. I don't know nothing about movies. Oh, yeah. So kiss, yeah, kiss, I'm bang, bang. I'm surprised. Huh? What, was, I, what was he? In? I don't know kiss, his kiss, big movies before. He really wasn't in no. No, he wasn't in nothing. Megan. I remember him. What was that reaction for? I remember him in the news. He was. In the news for fucking up street? way he more was. than anything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, remember he was on SNL? Yes, that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, because Pirates of the Caribbean, that all that came after, right? What? He wasn't in it. That's Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, you're right. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you said it with confidence too, bro. Like, look, you look Tony in his soul and said that. Same face. God. Same. They got, <laughs> the same, they got the same. 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 They're nothing no. alike. No. Yeah, the same nose. No. Yeah, no. I've seen Robert Downey with long hair. Robert Downey, and they kind of remind me of that. Is Johnny Depp the best actor? In the last 30 years. 
Let's break this down. It's hard to let's, 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 argue I mean, against him. Give us a, a, a top 16 or something. Right. What? Well, Robert you, Downey you right? Tropic Thunder was a black you was you know, phenomenal. You, you know the top guy, right? Comp- we got our... Happened through Denzel, the movie. I thought he was what's black. What's girl's name? Uh, she's in, she's in every Oscar every year. Kate, Kate no, Blanchett? not Kate Blanchett. Uh, she's, one of, she's in the conversation. She is in conversation. The, uh, the bas- no, the older woman. Ah, Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep. It's too she, much. She's too much. Too too male and female. Why? Past fifty years. We have to because you can't say who's the best actor. Wait, why not? Because well, we, it's too we, much. What's to the criteria? In. It's it's very subjective. We gotta have criteria. It's your it's your best. Super subjective. Like every time you see him, it's like nigga. I don't even. Wow, I didn't even recognize it. That's Johnny Depp for me. I go like. Oh, I did. I had to go back and be like, "Wow, he has a lot of makeup." He disappears. Yeah, just he disappears into these characters. No, nah, he's diverse. He disappears into makeup. people. Yeah, I can't remember can, this guy's name. If you I... take his character in Edward Scissorhands, yes, he had makeup on. But so what? If you take his character in Edward Scissorhands, was he eating Gilbert man. Grape? Oh, classic. Uh, Donnie Brasco. He'd be like Charlie Chocolate oh, Factory. Cast. Black Mass. Charlie and Chocolate Factory. I've Pirates seen him. I've seen him in a bad movie, but I've never seen him do a bad performance. No, it's like Denzel. Denzel. So never, Denzel will never name. give a bad Denzel performance. Denzel plays the same no. character, but it's never no, bad. It's very. I hate he plays. That argument. No, I think he doesn't play the same character, but it's like argument. it's still yeah. in a similar typecast. You know, where it's just like you know, like the like he's like a brooding kind of badass. Everybody that says brooding. this. Did y'all see uh, Roman? The movie Roman. Uh, yeah, that was very Roman groundbreaking. Esquire. That it was different, right? Yeah, one hundred. Did you see the Shakespeare joint he did? No. What to do about nothing? No. Did you see? Did it? you see the latest Shakespeare joint he did? Macbeth. Well, that's the same one, right? No, no. Macbeth. He has two of them. He does the Macbeth joint that he just did, mm. and then he did a uh, Shakespeare joint back in the nineties. Oh no. But but sounds like don't talk about it. Like people say on, he's the same you. character. Yeah, and then you give him four different. So 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 when they say a Denzel type is usually a father, cop, or a person that's going to do whatever it takes to get to where he needs to get. It, like that's that's his role. Training Day was groundbreaking because he was never been a villain in a in a movie. Uh, the one with with uh, Mark Wahlberg that was his first comedy. He has a lane. People say I want Denzel for this, and he mm-hmm. keeps taking that role. He kills it every single time. But when it comes to like diverse, he don't change his accent. He don't do like a Jamaican accent. He don't do like <laughs> <laughs> he did. In he the plays Quinn. Denzel. He he had a Jamaican accent, the Mighty Quinn. <laughs> was it good? Was it a good yeah. accent? Well, I don't know. He's I can't speak for the Jamaican, but I'm man just saying. Of like, he don't do Jamaican. You never see him like homeless. Uh, yeah, he, he's a powerful him. man. <laughs> like, the DiCaprio. weakest I ever seen John, uh, uh, Denzel was John Q. Because he, he he had no like power. He was like, I don't mm-hmm. have no money. But that was definitely, I'm going to do whatever it takes to, to, to get to my goal. Was he the same character as the Hurricane? I don't remember. Very, very good movie. movie. Very I good know. Movie. I, I know. Right, we're, we're done here. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I like to. I like to add. I mean, I'm leaning towards Tony. I'm leaning towards Tony because Tony, 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 Tony has he doesn't know what he's support, support in his argument. Yeah, because he was like, he never do accent. Yeah. <laughs> he never do Jamaican. But he did a Jamaican accent. He just said he did. I just said the Mighty Quinn. I never seen that. Dion, bro, why you you playing the DC role right now? You just leaning into that. Was that was he's on his own island on that one. No, I'm saying you just leaning into what you don't know. But no, Dion keeps coming. Dion keeps going. I backed out. <laughs> you, you took I, a seat. I, you did. I, I took a seat. I am a man of integrity. Standing <laughs> tall. I am moist. Man of moist, integrity. Moist? Standing tall. So is the 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 mighty queen? Is that like a how, how, what's the rating on that? Because I don't. I've never even heard of the movie. Rating as far as like is it like four point nine? Is it like something? It was first a movie came that out? didn't do well at the box office. It had uh, why, Robert Townsend. Don't waste my time. Yo. But it's still a movie. It's still a performance. We're not watching commercials, man. We're, what, not, talk, we're not talking about watch, bikes. So open mics of Denzel Washington? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm talking about body of work. <laughs> and, and he had an accent in Cry of Freedom. This, man? <laughs> you, you ever see Cry of Freedom? No, he didn't. Yeah, no, you know, I saw seven Denzel. Denzel movies and was like, yo, he's the same <laughs> character. And you know who has the same character? Very arguably. Who? Who never changed his accent. You want to be wrong, probably. Whatever you say. No, you know I thought that. about it. He does. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say, Who like, no matter which, right? like, actors be acting. Bro, Deion right? land hard on it too. Man, Paul. You know who I'll else? Say, but I, I, I was to answer your question. I like to add Leonardo DiCaprio to the to the sure. pod. Oh, okay. He's Leo a bad gets, man. Leo I'm just saying, man. like, you know, when he's yeah. in Django, Leo gets you somebody. know, versus Wolf and Wall Street, like, mm-hmm. there's no yeah. similarity between those characters. You know, I'm gonna add Brad Pitt. I'm not. No, he said I'm not. Brad Pitt and Snatch. Sure, sure. He great, great roles, bro. You about the the Pikey? Yeah. Was, see, look, I seen a movie. You see that? He did. See I saw. Yeah. I saw a movie. Yeah. Brad Pitt is up. I don't be Benjamin nothing. Buttons. What? Oh, Don Cheeto. Come on. Don you Cheeto's saw that in on. the chat. Don Cheeto's a great no, actor. Not. Just in the chat. Not, somebody said that in the chat. Hold on. Hold on. I got you. 
in in uh, BT's top actor, that's my that was my first actor I chose. You mean give me five? Yeah. So so I said Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle's a great Cheadle's actor. Is solid. Is and, he, and he's still underappreciated. Man. Did he do, was it House of Cards? That he, or what was that? Uh, there was a TV show he did. Oh, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. It's not House of Cards. Yeah, though. something it's, like uh, that. It's on Showtime. Black, is it Black Friday? Not Black Friday. No, nah, he was like What's a- What's the one with Yasser Lester in there? Yeah. Oh, House of Lies. House, House of Lies. Yeah, that's it. House of Lies. Did, I know did you guys you watch that? Did you watch that? No. No, he he did his thing on that show. I love yeah. it. He did his thing. You love that show? Don Cheese was no, good. No, I love that you agree. I just said he did his show on that particular- Wow. I'm the only one who's seen that show. What's the arguments against- Manscape. Let's put Manscape in this conversation. Oh, yeah. nice. Manscape is here to is here with a deal you can't pass over this Easter season. Mm -hmm. They've got the tools to give you the beautifully decorated eggs of your dreams. Mm -hmm. Just because it's Easter doesn't mean it's okay to hide those bad boys behind all that tall grass. Mm. So make sure your downstairs lawn is mowed. Morris. Get yourself feeling as sweet as candy by going to <laughs> manscaped.com and getting 20% off plus Come free shipping with the code issue. Yo, that was a great, great copy. I'm not they, gonna lie. Manscaped, Manscaped has great copies. Makes the best copy. That was so good. Everybody, everybody <laughs> we, we do ask with no disrespect to everybody we do ask for. We love you. But whoever's at Manscaped be doing they got it. Mm -hmm. like, right. Eggs clean. Yeah. Whoever, like, their, what? whoever their writer is is top notch. <laughs> top notch. I'm always uh, looking forward to those. That was great. I love Manscaped uh, product. Uh, use it today, this morning. Mm -hmm. I was in there with yeah. the- uh, oh, you, you, got some deep? you got some clean eggs you right now? Well, no, I, I didn't use the shaving stuff. So, oh, you didn't I, trim up every, today? Every day, though. I'm mm -hmm. using the, the body wash. Okay. Mm -hmm. I use the shampoo every day. I use the shampoo mm -hmm. and conditioner in one. But mm -hmm. Tony, mm -hmm. you're bald. Mm -hmm. I still mm -hmm. shampoo and condition my scalp. You got to keep the- it helps Do you do that? I do not. Oh, and another, the body spray is on point. The body spray is good mm -hmm. too. Nah. It's a good time, man. Dion Lack, man, get in on this mask mm -hmm. game. Come on, Dion. Man. I have the draws on right Harry now. Balls. You got grass down there? I mean, is it Bush Gardens it's, it's about down there? Two weeks overdue. You shave down there? I do. Everything? Yes. What and the ball? I'm leaving a strip? I don't know what people, yes. some people need <laughs> shit. Right. I, I leave my logo. logo. He got the <laughs> lane team. He got my logo. I got, I got my logo right, right there. there. Yeah. You never know. <laughs> I don't know what the L would work. That would be work. terrible. It's, like, it's a little L until <laughs> you get an erection in his big L. It'll take the whole turn and everything. <laughs> Leon's <laughs> last name doesn't really <laughs> warrant <laughs> success. No. It's just lack. Just L. Warrant success. Everything though? Yeah. What do you use? Manscaped. I literally told you I got drawers on. A manscape. You Show it right it. now. Prove it. <laughs> um, no, no, I have manscape. Okay. I, I don't have the 4.0. I have 3.0. Oh, oh it's oh, hey, stuck man. in the past. They man. Got it's time to upgrade. 0, man. Upgrade, he baby. Said. It's time yeah. to put uh it's time to put all your eggs into the perfect basket with the performance package 4.0. Inside the ball care bunny basket, you'll find their mm. lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. Weed whacker 2.0, ear and nose hair trimmer, Ooh, nice. crop preserver, ball deodorant, oh. crop reviver toner. And performance boxer briefs and a travel bag. The Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer is an elite electric trimmer. It has their proprietary advanced skin safe technology that is designed to trim hair on loose skin. Mm. Mm. Fancy, fancy. The Lawnmower 4.0 is waterproof and equipped with the LED lights so you can keep eyes on those eggs even in the dark. You hear that, Dion? In the dark. 4.0, in... bro. <laughs> <laughs> the Easter Bunny dropped off an extra special gift <laughs> with performance package by adding the upgraded Weed Whacker 2.0 nose and ear hair trimmer, which mm. helps reduce nicks, snags, and tugs in those delicate nose and ear holes. This package also comes with the Crop Preserver, Ball Deodorant, and hey. Crop Reviver. I want to know more. Toner. I want to know more about this deodorant. Yeah, on. you heard that right, man. Mm -hmm. This is lot. Ball Deodorant that can change your life. April is Easter, but it is also Testicular Cancer Awareness Month. Mm -hmm. Manscaped has partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to bring awareness to testicular cancer, men's health, and early cancer detection. Mm -hmm. oh. I recently got my balls uh Ultrasound. Mm -hmm. How oh, did you? How'd that go? Uh, yeah, I got like a cyst on my uh, testy. One of my testes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, they got yeah. to go in there. It's up to me because they said it. It was a uh, benign. Yeah, so it's either filled with just water or blood, mm -hmm. and so I was just like, hmm. I think I'm gonna get rid of it Why? just to get it up out of there. You don't like the look did, because can I, you feel I, it like when you're down there, like I'm you hold trying. yourself, you feel I it. I can feel it. Yeah, you can feel. Oh, that's yeah, why that's, I went to get yeah, the ultrasound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And so I was just like. Uh, and plus, they be downplaying stuff sometimes. 
I'd be like, nah, you can yeah. you can leave it there. It's man. called private practice. That's, man. They practice. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that was... it can morph into something else. Mm. So, oh uh, yeah. But I went in. It's can funny it, if it's benign. Can it morph into something else? They say it doesn't, but I don't. I don't, I don't like just you know, these doctors just mind. be yeah. guessing. They wait. Yeah. They find out on you. Oh, it did go crazy. <laughs> right. <laughs> we, we didn't think it yeah. was growing uh-huh. to this. Um, it's funny when I went to get the ultrasound on my balls. Had another black female. Mm. I was mm-hmm. like, man, come on. <laughs> how was what is it? You, I wasn't. I didn't hear. I wasn't pretty. My that. urologist is a black woman, so when oh. I went to to the urologist, this was my first time going. Uh, the little nurse was like, "Yeah, she'll be in here in a minute." I was like, "She?" she. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, that changes it, doesn't it? Yeah, and I was just like, Did I was filling out the papers. Uh-huh. I was just like, <laughs> and then. I was like, man, should I be thinking about stuff She's to like, get oh, me? Oh, hey, Tony Baker. On medium <laughs> Let me see your penis. Especially <laughs> 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 if like, you know, a fan. Uh, oh, yeah. so, I love your video. If she was a fan, which she could be. Oh, she yeah, that's they so probably wouldn't yeah, say nothing. That'd be crazy. Fan. It's like, could you could you do a voiceover of yeah. this moment? Actually, it's happened you... to me before a medical situation. I went to the ear doctor. He's like, I'm a big fan, by the way, but the ear is easy work. Yeah, right, right, right. I gotta pull my package. She walks out. in, yeah. you hear her ringtone, look who you, <laughs> like, you know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to know you real well, Mr. Man. Man. Drop him. And so this time the there's a girl at the ultrasound place. I'm like, man, come on, man. Yeah. Her name was Ebony. I was like, Oh, oh she's real black. Black, 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 little slim, light skinned joint. Oh, oh, man. Man. With nice eyes. Too. Oh, oh man, man. Oh, she probably cute. Man. Man. But here's my ball. Yeah, yeah. Oh, did, did, that, that got, did that get she you anywhere? By the way, uh-huh. huh? yeah. that, you said you was. Did you do the half the thoughts to go half chub, or did you just say you gonna take? Well, this? with that, uh, with well, her, was she? she never saw the ultrasound. My shaft wasn't seen. It was okay. like I set it up to just. It was just oh, ball. Yeah. Oh, but surprisingly, though, I was I was comfortable. Mm-hmm. I was more comfortable with women mm-hmm. than men. Mm-hmm. You hear like an N95 that was a surprise. mask on in your shaft. Well, because huh? you're used to women being around. That's like what, men, that's other... what Sabrina said. Yeah, you're used to women, women being around all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, not all the time, but you know what I mean. Yeah, all the time. But it's, no, often, it's, but... it's, no, it's no story that they can go back and tell. Like, if it was a guy, he'd be like, yeah, I seen Tony Becker today. You're not going to be like, yes, yeah, it's, it's all right. A woman be like, you ain't going to believe who I saw today. How is he, girl? Oh, they would have thought it was supposed more. to be confidential. Nah, I mean, you just, that's, I'm, that's I'm literally hip I'm certain psychiatrists... They, they talk to their family. I'm certain. They don't. Oh, yeah, they do. No, some I'm do. saying like I have that's like how, that's how the uh, Menendez brothers you got feel uncomfortable now. Oh. Well, well, that was different. No, no, it was like, it was a somebody, thing. I, like my best friend is a psychiatrist. But they're one of my best friends. I'm sure they, people they, just they talk, have bro. to vent. Well, the thing they is, don't they don't can say talk. Oh, they say they could. Yeah, they talk about their people. Just like here's our case that right. certain things like this happen. Mm-hmm. They don't say who's who. But that's what we're talking about. Like because it's Tony Baker is what we're talking about. Like you're saying like anonymously speaking about somebody. It don't matter. Like I saw a random black man ball black man's dick today. Drinks. They're like, who is it? Who is it? Like. Oh yeah, you know, I saw, yeah. I saw I a famous black man's penis I give them today. Too much credit. Like, of course they're talking to somebody. Yeah. yeah, of course. The Menendez brothers is a different thing because it's different. But I'm just saying, no one. I was, I was trying to show up with a release, like you know, just keep you just trying, like, <laughs> you about to see my NWA? junk. So you just, yeah, yeah. We're not talking. We're not talking about what the police had to discover. We're just talking about that person mm-hmm. sharing their information with other people. You got a. I feel like they. Of course. They do tell the spouse. Yeah. I'm certain. If 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 I was a gynecologist I and today. I saw Holly Berry's vagina as I was going, I'm like, You're also a comedian, so let's just keep it. But that it's in. also like, yo, how was today? Yo. <laughs> never believe I can't tell you who it who is. My patient uh-huh. was. Look at right. this picture though. I would tell the spouse, but not my friends. Though. Right. No, I wouldn't. You're gonna tell friends. somebody. Because yeah. it's all about integrity. But anyway, right. Manscaped wow, is committed to raising <laughs> Manscaped is committed to raising we awareness don't know for the most common it. form of cancer in men aged 15 to 35 and giving support for fighters, survivors, and families impacted by testicular cancer as part of their We Save Balls initiative. That is the funniest initiative. So save. 20% off Ooh. and free shipping with the code issues at manscaped.com. That's How much? 20% off yeah. and free shipping what? with the code issues at manscaped.com. Hop into the best deal of the year with Manscaped. You see what they did? They did. They really playing off the easy thing. I like that. Appreciate y'all, Manscaped. Shout out to that writer. Mm -hmm. Um, Man, they be killing. I have a random throwback thought for you guys. Mm -hmm. That's that you just inspired. You guys remember the dude on MTV, Tom Green? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Remember when he had the ball thing happen? Yeah. Yeah. You guys remember when he sang a song afterwards? Like, rub your ball. Like, he's singing it to like kids. Yeah, Tom Green was crazy. That was ridiculous. I don't remember the song, though. I don't be liking musical comedy. Well, the thing is, it's like after he got, this was his first episode back after getting like his. Ball removed, uh, and then the first thing he did was he got a guitar. Yeah. He got a bunch of kids, and he sat down and he sang a Whoa. song about rubbing his balls Jesus. to make sure that he stays safe. And I was like, this Tom dude, Green. Yeah. bro. I was like, Tom Green's wild, yeah, yeah. bro. I remember he, that was hilarious. He had a little moment there. Yeah, yeah. 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 he's yeah. on a five yeah. year run right now. Yeah. hits from the streets. Put him in the conversation of best best last thirty years. Yeah, Tom Green. Tom Green. 
Oh, yeah. Bun on your lips? Wait, Wait, so why can't we put Brad Pitt in there? That's what I'm saying. You you can put him in the conversation. I don't think he comes close to a Leo. I don't think he comes close to a Denzel. I don't Who think you he got? comes close to a Meryl Streep. I don't think he's in that. I don't think he's that level of a guy where you go like, wow, he really disappeared in that role. Or mm. I can't imagine anybody else doing this. He thing. literally disappeared. He's legends. Buttons. So that's, that's <laughs> so one of the criteria is what? disappearance. Yeah, like I go believability, right? Mm-hmm. I go like, of course, actually, we want to make sure. But there's a Robert Downey Jr. For example, being I can't see anyone else being Iron Man. I can't see anyone else being the black, the black guy. <laughs> right? I go like, I hey, can't even see a black dude doing hey, that role. Johnny Depp, Depp, Johnny Depp, Depp couldn't do Iron Man. I don't know. I think I, I don't, think I Johnny think Depp could do Iron Man. He's a great actor, but I don't. Leonardo DiCaprio can't Robert do Iron Man. Yeah, Junior bring something do. so unique and special. That Leonardo I go DiCaprio. Like, Johnny Depp couldn't do Iron Man, bro. When you when you say could he do it? Could he? Sure. Would he be as charismatic? He would be. As he would be. You would be Downey like. Jr.? You would be saying know. the same thing. I couldn't see no one doing. Maybe. But but that's the level it's of hard, person I'm talking hard about. To say that level. If somebody else wouldn't have killed it either, right? We say that about uh, Michael Maybe. Keaton. Yeah, Nobody Johnny can be Batman. Depp. Yeah. It's been 19 Batman. I'm, I'm not arguing, that. but I don't think Brad Pitt goes with those guys. I don't think anybody saying. ever said nobody can be Batman after Michael Keaton. No, a lot no, of people feel we, like that's the only Batman they, I no, recognize. They, they, is they Michael feel, Keaton. but it's not like a consensus. Like, man, nobody could ever be Batman. I don't think there was a better Batman than. Michael I feel Keaton. like Batman doesn't have that. Uh, same so, stigma on it because not, yeah. there's been so many actors that have been Batman. It's just like, all right, who's gonna be next? But I'm Iron Man, all we have right. is Robert Downey. Only Jr. comparison, yeah. Right. I'm sure Colin there's Farrell somebody who does a great job, right? Who mm-hmm. comes along and they take the man on, they'll do a great job. But if you talk about Brad Pitt being on this level, those guys, I go like, no, nah, I don't think so. I don't think he's on a Denzel level or a uh, Johnny Depp level. I want everybody's pick. Like I want to know who do you, you who who is your pick because you brought who, you, you brought Johnny the question Depp. right. You I'm got doing, I'm doing all. Brad Pitt or Tom Hanks. It depends on the Tom criteria. Hanks, Tom Hanks is a good choice. What well, are we basing it on? Let's, there's, a, there's several it's criteria, subjective. right? Let's let's so talk you say about believability. That's one. I believe Denzel in every role he's ever been in. I, I agree with you. I go like, yeah, man. I don't. There's nothing in him. I go like, hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> you believe him in a Jamaican role? You believe him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the stare down between Tony and Dion right now. Because so, Dion was on some horse shit. Oh, he was, he's coming for you. He was like, nah, like, let me defend this man. <laughs> All right. Dion well, but, well, Dion's defense, he's not the only person that's, that says that. A lot of people say that, D, that Denzel. It's a very short sighted argument. It, yeah. But it's silly, though. A lot of, when you look at the, the movie stars, uh-huh. like movie stars, a lot of them play. Similar character. They say they play. Yeah, they play. They play. That's they what start, makes yeah, you a movie You start star. paying them for them. A right? Lot right. Of, a lot of the people that disappear in the roles, they're not necessarily movie stars. Like right. Daniel Day Lewis is one of the best actors yeah. I've ever seen, mm-hmm. but he is not a movie star. Yeah, Jeff, I got Jeffrey Wright like that too. Box mm-hmm. off. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. Jeffrey Wright. Yeah. You need to have some sort of familiarity for people to be like, I can't wait to see the next. You know, right picture with that particular with that person, person in it. In it yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But like then, Daniel Day is incredible. Mm-hmm. But yeah. it's like you know, some movies he be in, I'd be like, I ain't watching that shit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Regardless, like the nines with him in it, or the, uh, the movie Abraham where he Lincoln. was a tailor. Oh, he, he, he his did. last movie, as a matter of fact, right. I'm like, man, look out. Yeah. <laughs> like, he was a Mohicans. star, like you know, a star. I'm gonna just go. Right. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio, Denzel. I'm gonna just pull like up. They're carrying. They're carrying they that movie. They're carrying I'm that movie. Like, I'm yep. watching this. You know, I don't like Denzel Washington. Wow. <laughs> I said, <laughs> let's get to it. I said it. Let's get to it. <laughs> because he don't work with bigger artists. What do you mean? What he do you don't mean? work with. He don't never co-star with great uh, other actors. You never see him working Mark, with like Samuel Lyla Jackson, Davis, Wahlberg. So, as in like Mark like Wahlberg, man. On his level, like he doesn't team up with like Will Smith. Or, That's like, a lot of money Samuel to pay Jackson. them cats. I, but but people have that budget. Denzel you, it, is expensive, though. I, I I know that, but it's like, dude, why do you always have to be the star? Because like, he's you, a movie at star. This, he is at a this star. level, you Gene can Hack? you can wait, share wait, this. Wait, wait a second. Gene wait a Hack? second. Wait Julia a minute. Roberts. Wait a minute. Tom Hanks. Denzel this has is like eighty three. Wait wait. No, Denzel. he's a ninety. <laughs> <laughs> Dion argument just gets shut I, I down. I got something for him. Oh, Come on, man. Yeah, just, you know who you're talking to? I'll be, be, be like, I know. Oh, we might have something. I know. Has Tony has Somebody in the comments, in yo, with... if, when you get in there, tell Dion, tell Tony this. I said, I got you. I'm, I'm <laughs> the voice comments, for the people. <laughs> nah, he just, you just you know, wild. Julia Roberts. In the past, Roberts. In the past 10 years. In the past 10 years? What? Who was the co-stars that he worked with? Viola Davis. Yeah. And he He's helped build her whole career. He knew. That was from the play as well. Huh? That's from the play. Exactly. Well. So he knew that she was gonna outshine him in yeah. this role. Yeah. And he still was like, "Let's make this into mm-hmm. a movie." Oh, really? He knew that. 
I mean, if you I mean, work if with you Viola know. Davis already on the play, you already know she what she's no about chill. to bring. Right, yeah. right. So it's like that shows you unselfish play. Mm-hmm. What else he got? So yeah. right. he just, I was just saying, oh, that was oh, a good oh, example. Oh, oh. Right. Don't, don't, give him, don't, don't give him time to bail. Uh-huh. Hold on, what you got? Me, let me think about uh, You got to last... think about your favorite actor, oh, man. Oh, we hold no. Magnificent Seven. We doing E.T. fingers. Oh, that was a lot of people in that bitch. You got Ethan Hawke in there again. Yeah. Chris Pratt. Ethan Hawke? Chris Pratt. You pin Ethan Hawke as a as a major A list actor? Oh no no no! no Come he's on, not, man! He's not A list. But Chris, Chris, Pratt, Chris Pratt, 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 look out! Chris Pratt, Pratt. Chris Pratt, as an A list actor. He's A list. Are we talking? Are we talking about? Wait, are we talking about who's, who's leading we Mario? About, who's leading? What are we talking about? Fame leading or actor? I'm talking skills. like when they name is on a billboard, everybody's showing up. Yeah, Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt, Pratt, Chris Pratt, Pratt is Pratt not no A list. Pratt is A-list. Wait, wait, yes, Star Trek. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Not you're in a wrong, you're in a wrong, wrong, wrong franchise. But yeah. Yeah. he's 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 leading Jurassic Park he's franchise Star-Lord. now, right? Wait, wait. Star Lord. Yeah. yeah. Wait, wait. He's leading Jurassic he, Park he, franchise. I, I said that, but I was thinking of Chris Pratt. Chris Pine. Dion. Chris Pratt is like he's he's Star Lord in the Guardians of the Galaxy. Chris Pine. Chris Pine. Chris Pine. Very different. Chris. Very different. Yeah, that's what, I was like, that's what I was like. I see this. I was like, really? Are we talking about no, him? We call it Chris Pratt. Was it Pelcom 123? Oh my God. Is this hey, how he is every time? I'm loud yeah, and wrong. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Not only is he loud and wrong, but Just you can wrong. barely talk. <laughs> You got you got to put Dion in the corner for Pelcom. two minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the Dion's taking corner. the talcum powder three one six. What is it called? He was also in the movie with uh, John Travolta. What which which the one they taking, did? They're taking the okay, Pelham 1, 2, 3. Oh, yeah. But You're talking about the train A-list. movie. Are people pulling up? Academy Award nominee. John Travolta? Mm-hmm. What, what? I'm, I'm t- I ain't talking like... And this, uh, was, this was John Travolta when he was hotter. Mm-hmm. What, see, see what I'm saying? That's, what that's what when year did that up? come out? I said yeah. the past 10 years. No, at first you said you you made a blanket. Yeah, you did say that. You narrowed it down yeah. in the past ten years. <laughs> How many movies has he been in last ten years? Yeah, when he saw that case, that's a DC <laughs> tactic. <laughs> keep moving. Keep changing. Doesn't work in this one. Keeps moving. <laughs> I know what you're up to, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I see it clear today. Hilarious. All right. Well, y'all, I, y'all want my story now? You want me to hear the story Please, I was going to tell you guys? You Brennan, yeah, tell your story. I want to get away from Dion's bullshit. Um, <laughs> what no, happened? Dion has got a vendetta against Denzel. He does. I need, I need is, is what happened, your father? B? All right, so Fatherhood. last week last week was a big week for me. It was hey. the first time that uh, I traveled with uh, my son Lincoln oh. alone. Oh, uh, snap. So I flew, him, I flew with him back to Michigan. Last week, hell yeah, um, and it was challenging. Yeah, you know, he's, I didn't get a seat next to me because you know what I'm saying he's he's only one lap child. Yeah, right. so he's in lap, and uh, so that's a long flight. It's five and a half hours. Uh, you do, it five? was four hours there, five and a half back. Okay, something like that. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, man, it was. I'll say this. I have never felt more taken care of by like airport staff in my life. Oh yeah, like they pulled up. They're like, "Oh, it's a father by himself." They're the like, single, "The single like, dad." They, I didn't wait no lines. Mm, like wow. they just let me right on through. Like there is a giant line at the Delta counter. That's where I was going. I was, like walked up to one of the ladies. Hey, where do I go with the kids? She was just looking around. She was like, "Just come with me." Yeah. And she just came over, and just like walked over, and just yeah. like, "Are yeah, you going ahead?" That dead uh, you know? mama over there. Wow. Yeah, it's like this guy is just doing everything. Uh-huh. Well, it's because I looked ridiculous too, though, because I had a backpack on the front, a backpack on the back, <laughs> and like a satchel thing on the side. Wow. And I'm pushing his, uh, you know, pushing him and. <laughs> little stroller so you know That's a lot but he did, well. he did well how did he do on the plane he did, he did great he he was chilling bro he felt asleep like he's already been on a plane before and he was great yeah so i was hoping that would happen again because mm-hmm. i was at six months he's a whole different human being now right um he was chilling bro like either either he was just sleeping um i got these little uh these little headphone things it's like a headband uh-huh. that has like headphones in it mm-hmm. so i put that on him and uh-huh. then just had him watching his favorite you know stuff on my ipad oh, so okay. he was pretty content with that or he was sleeping or he was messing with the people behind us. Nice. You know, he'd see him, he'd just look at him and smile and be like, hey. Yeah. And then had like, I turn around, I half that. the plane is waving at him. You know? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. yeah, he he does it. He hams yeah. it up. Was like, mom nervous? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she was freaking out. It was great. You um, say it was great? Yeah, because I'm just like, I got this. Ain't gonna, like, ain't, ain't, ain't I no seen problems. a baby wilding out on the plane and the parent was asleep. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, I'm sleeping through this. I feel that. Like, were they holding the baby? I feel that. It was like, everybody was like, like, hey, it's so man, annoying hey, when kids be crying hey, on the block. I, I didn't though. want to be that. Like as soon as I sat, like yeah. as soon as I sat down, like there was a guy sitting next to me. I looked at him and was like, "Normally, I'm the person who doesn't want to be you right now, and I'm sorry, but I think my, I think he's gonna be chill." And at the end of the flight, he was like, "Man, that was 
your, your son's cool. Like, you I, feel, good, I feel bad for the parents. People be like, oh, this kid. I'll be like, you don't think this mom or dad is stressing? No, it is, some of the parents don't tough, be stressing. There's nothing like, you let's can let's do. Take, yes, it is. Walk your kid up and down the miles <laughs> and pat his back until he did, go to sleep. And I did change his diaper in the airplane yeah. on both flights because it's just like Ooh, it's a four or five hour flight. Some kids be stinking. Them kids be the doo doo diapers. That's, that's, like, that was hard. Diff, different game. But when that kid's yeah. colicky, that's the word, right? Yeah. Like, you gotta, hey, you got to do it. Yeah. Stay your words. ass at home. Yep. If you got a colicky baby, yeah, you're not making home. the trip. <laughs> I'm not mad at that. You gotta stay out of flight. Stay out of movie theaters. Well, that's why, do people, why do people know. bring babies to movie nah, theaters? I don't know. No other option. The movie yeah, I didn't why? Did they cry through the movie? There's no other option. To watch the movie. Right. Did they cry through he the tried. movie? Though? So as soon as one false sound, I would get up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. One false. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Out. Mm-hmm. I would walk yeah, right. out. I would walk out. Mm-hmm. What was your right first out. movie you, you took your Bad child? Bad Boys 2. That's no, crazy. they were a little older. Well, you took them to the loudest. You said they? Biggest movie. Yeah, because that was 2003. So both of them were. Um. I just spotted him three. I never stopped going to the movies though. I would take mm-hmm. the babies to yeah. the movies. Yeah. But, but I would I would I would I'm sit out. on the edge and one false sound, I would get up. Mm-hmm. You, you're not about to turn neck, around and like look at me. Pit bull. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I out of curiosity, how many of you guys have changed the diaper on a plane before? I've never traveled. No, baby. You're gonna wear it just five hours out. Yeah. I'll tell you right now, that's we, we took road trip. challenge. It's challenging because the bathroom be so small. Well, the no, bathroom's small and they have this little thing that pops down. And I was just like, the first time we traveled when we were six months, he mm. fit on it perfectly. Mm-hmm. Now he's like twice that size. So yeah. I was like, all right, cool. Let me you yeah. know, put him on there. I'm like, Could you sue the airplane if that thing break? Like goes the other way. He said, What now? Could you sue the airline if that thing they're gonna blame the baby? Why you got a big ass baby? Yeah, a little fat ass kid. I mean, I tried. I would hurt. Yo, if he got hurt, ain't stable. You know, but it's, it was, you know, it was pretty challenging, you know, yeah, but I was, he was cool. He did a good job. Mm-hmm. I was proud of him. But yeah. yeah, it was also really weird to take him home for the first time. So mm-hmm. it was his first trip to uh, Michigan. Uh-huh. So that's where I'm from. So it felt like I was like, I'm taking you to the homeland, yeah. you know? So and then like it's like, Africa or something. it was great. <laughs> you know? I don't remember. Yeah. And then like, uh, I don't remember. but it was crazy because then like putting him to sleep in the room that I grew up in as a kid. That was the weirdest feeling to me. I love that. You know, I was just like, you know, I'm like putting the crib in there. I'm like, I never as a kid imagined I would ever put a kid of mine asleep. So who hadn't seen the baby yet from your fifth side of the family? Every you know, everybody's seen him. Oh, everybody's yeah, seen him. Okay. Like, uh, but it's the first time just getting I had going some cousins home. that still haven't seen him. Like we told I was like, I was like, hey, I'm gonna be there. And they was like, all right, cool, we're gonna pull up. And they ain't pull up. No, I'm talking about before you took him to Mich- took him to Michigan. Yeah, I'm talking my like my uh, the only family I really have there is those cousins I just said that didn't uh-huh. pull up. And then like my immediate family. <laughs> they didn't show. Um they've already all been they'd already been Yeah, they've already seen him. Okay. So mm-hmm. You know, but it's wild. It's like as I was leaving, my mom was in tears. You know, because just like my baby's grandbaby, like, grandbaby, yeah. Yeah. grandbaby's mm-hmm. leaving, and it's like immediately her and my grandma, like the moment the door closed, just fell ill. Boom, like they were like grief, mm-hmm. like grief wow. ill. Like oh, me. like they're still sick right now. Like I just got back. Like they're oh, really are you sick. leaving? You think? It's... I think I had some. They both fell sick the same exact time. Like maybe the day you that brought I brought a sickness to them. I was there for a week, bro. Yeah, it's enough, enough time, time to bring though. sickness no, to sickness somebody. Is, sickness is normally comes into you in like three days, bro. Like I was there for five. Yeah, you got them. Day so you one. think they they were just so <laughs> sad because you left? I think that I think your immune system does uh, react to your emotional state, and oh, I think for sure I believe that. 100%. Yeah, and so I think that like maybe like they were good because he was there, and then they got really sad when they knew he was about to leave. And then the, the baby, so they, not yeah, you, they not me. They give a shit about. about you, I don't yeah. matter anymore. Yeah, um, but like now, like I left, and then like my mom texted me when I was like in the air. I was just like, are you okay? Is Lincoln feeling okay? I was like, yeah, we're good. And he's like, yeah, grandma and I are both, your grandma and I are both oh, very wow. sick. Oh, damn. Like, yeah, it's like, it's for real. Damn. You know, like, like my grandma, like today I called her. I was like, you okay? And she was like, I'm good. I was like, you don't, you don't sound, damn. you don't sound like, she's like, they're talking about like hospital stuff. Oh, like, oh, oh shit. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Damn. I was just like, what? You know, but it happened like, that's, the reason I'm bringing it up isn't just to be like, let's just talk about my, my family being sick, but mm-hmm. it's like the actual correlation to like us leaving, they both fell ill at the exact same time. Wow. They were both at the house when I left. My yeah. mom was crying. They were both crying as I'm leaving. Did you cry? I did, yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't expect to though. I was like, man, you come on guys, you guys are good. And then like, you know, I looked in my mom's eyes, she started crying. I was like, man, what you, you know, like, we yeah. good, like, we go, I'll be back, you know? <laughs> yeah, tell, like, them, tell them you love them right now and cut this out and send it to them. So it's like uh, I, I love you, mother and grandma. <laughs> yeah. I'm, you know, I don't know how to edit, but you know, well, take Amir, care. you got this, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, what's that? Why would I cut it? <laughs> no, I'm just, no, you know, that, like a little out. cut this part out. I yeah. said I'm on this. I'm on this podcast. Oh, oh okay. I thought you. Were I'm like saying, mama and yeah. Yeah. so that's Amir yeah. right here. Yeah. Mama and grandma, I love you guys. I hope you guys feel I'm better. Like me too. Yeah, Amir's out here. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can wish them well too. You know what I'm saying? Get in there, you know. We pray healing. 
um, that everything's. Why oh, you start laughing? Yo. I don't know. That's the tone of your voice. We yeah. pray. Uh, we <laughs> <healing>. <laughs> I'm, I'm, praying. Praying. Well, Give me, I'm giving you healing. Energy. Okay, please. I'm sorry. Please. Well, the yeah, forced please. love no, is kind of awkward, Brennan, but I'll go ahead and uh, love your mom and uh, grandma. You guys get well. Yeah. Man, thank you, DC. I appreciate you being forced into that. <laughs> we out here, man. Y'all, y'all know me and yeah. I know y'all. So I'm wishing y'all good yeah. health, a speedy recovery. Yes. Laughs and smiles yet again because sickness is man, it's yeah, tough. Real, yeah, man. it is. Mm-hmm. When you come out on it on the other side, it's a good time. Man. Um, it's a good, to... I know you wish I was your son instead of. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I knew he was gonna do something because on, first of all, man. he has met both of them on multiple occasions. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. Yeah. You know, so he knows them. They all right with him. That's know. not even yeah. the camera, dude. It's that camera right there. Yeah, you're in the wrong camera. He's on the wrong camera. <laughs> you're wrong camera. Yeah, yeah, he's on the wrong he camera the whole, the whole time. time. <laughs> <laughs> Those are decoys. Oh. <laughs> To uh, Brennan's family, everyone in Michigan, I uh, just want to say, get Express VPN. Oh. oh. This dude right if you don't have guy. it now. <laughs> oh, my God. Because if you guys didn't integrity. know over in Michigan, he has no integrity. watching Netflix without using Express VPN is like paying for a gym membership, but not only being able to use... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> That was good, Chad. I, I like that. that, was good. that was Watching Netflix without using ExpressVPN is like paying for a gym membership, but only being able to use the treadmill. When we were in Dominican Republic, bro, I really noticed that you do get a ton of different shows, whole other different comedians for being in Netflix and they're, you know, using a VPN. I was like, oh, it's a whole nother Netflix mm-hmm. in the DR, right? Mm-hmm. So I was like, it's, it's crazy how... You know, and getting ExpressVPN, you can access that from anywhere. Anywhere you say you are, you can watch your favorite shows in different places all the time. We had a problem watching Luther. We're trying to binge Luther. Mm-hmm. We could not do it until I used ExpressVPN. We had to act like we were literally from London. Really? Like, we had to do that well, in order I, I did, to watch I Luther. actually used ExpressVPN to watch uh, Titan. Titans, uh, the DC. Oh movie. yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Because at first it was only it was only in uh, it only came out on Europe mm-hmm. for a while, and oh, you yeah, couldn't watch that. it on Netflix here. Now it's mm-hmm. on Netflix yeah, or yeah, somewhere. Right. It's on something, but I can watch it. Max, so yeah. I use uh, ExpressVPN to watch it. Hey. I mean, it's it's yo, know, it's one of those things that I just go like, it's a super cheat code, bro. Mm-hmm. Why choose ExpressVPN over other VPNs? Uh, Blazing Fast Speed streams in HD with zero buffering, compatible with all mm. your devices, phone, laptops, media consoles, zero buffering, even huh? Dion's Androids. He won't let go of man. And Good encrypts your data. ExpressVPN has added benefit of encrypting your data so you can browse the web security. So be smart. Stop playing full prices for streaming services and only getting access to a fraction of the content. Get your money's worth at expressvpn.com slash issues. 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 That is expressvpn.com slash issues. I, I get an entire... Qu- Three months off. Mm-hmm. Was that was that your question? How no, much? You get was three months. That was the yeah, three was, months. Three months. Questions. That was one of them. Yeah. I have another question. Well, you, like, you said browse. The, you said browse the, the internet security. You know, or do you mean securely? Because those are two different things. You know Ooh. what I'm saying? That's what my question was. Uh, well, let's uh, it's, see what it's, it's, it says. It's securely. It's 100 percent secure. Are you I'm sure? Oh, yeah. you... I'm, I'm literally looking at the oh, copy. Okay. <laughs> um, what did he fumble? He fumble? No, he fumbled. Oh, 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 over the shoulder ass. Yeah, 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 you should know yeah, what to expect. Man. I'm consistent. Yeah, yeah. You're taking a test, but it's like, yes, I'm wrong. Get to, your ass up off me. I'm trying to give you some integrity in the words that you're using. I don't right? we can't what use this clip. What did he say, Brennan? I said security security instead of securely. Yeah, he said like you you can browse the internet the web security. I was like, you, oh, that does, like, sound, that does sound a different. little crazy. I was like, that's well, you over here looking at different. the firewalls, bro? Like, that's you know, we out different. here. Maybe that's you very different. Maybe you could. I don't, I don't, think, so you, I don't, uh, don't think Express VPN Miranda does said this is the bald edition. Everybody on here is bald. Yeah. Oh, man, man. And, bald, and we all wearing black, too. Dion ain't bald. Nah, he's, he's, he's bald enough. Hmm? Bald enough, yo. Nah, I'm yeah, hey, look, look, look out. Like, he has like an eight head if he doesn't, if he, if he ain't gonna call it. Like, oh, yeah, can you lift that again? He in the hair. Now lift it up again. What? That's hair. I mean, it's 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 hella faded, though. Yeah. That's I'll consider that. I mean, I can you bald, still, DC? I can, I can still grow, but I'll be cutting it. Hmm. You haven't been cutting it long. We know about Chaz. Let everybody see your hair, Chaz. Come on, Chaz. I got up? the hood strapped on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so you don't want to see this. <laughs> <laughs> everybody good? How you guys doing? <laughs> Wow. Y'all need to show some integrity for the show. Thank you. I'll be shaving for this show. Man, that's the only problem. If I don't shave, I'll be putting the work in. None of them do. Look at this. I go to the barber. I go to to the barber to get shaved. What? I don't shave Mm -hmm. my own. You don't shave your own head? Mm -hmm. How often do you you go to the barber every three days? You got money. Once a week. Really? Find me a barber in LA that's cheap. How, how much does it cost to get your head shaved? Garrett, 50 bucks. I go to Garrett. That is crazy. It, costs, is it takes wild. me five minutes and costs Garrett, me Wait, is just 50, is 50 dollars to bald you? Yes. Or you getting fake? I get the little beard and the and the hey, and the I told I ain't gonna say the person's name because it's our friend and it's not him. Uh-huh. 
I shaved this off. I said, just line me up. He said, no matter what, but it's still 50. I said, 50 for the edge? I already did my head. No, they did that to me too. I went in there because like when I first started growing my beard, I went into a barber shop and was just like, hey, I don't really know how to like, it was getting longer. I, like, I don't yeah. really know how to shape this or cut it. They're, they're like, say less, man, I got you. And I was in the chair for all of like seven minutes. And they were like, all right, that'll be uh, $48.70. I was like, $48? And, and, and that was like, y'all wild. You crazy. That's I was wild. like, I already, sh I don't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have to try to test this. That's wild. To look for this. I've so I've never you, paid you pay this. And wait, the thing is, so you're paying $200 a month. Yeah, it's just to have a ball. You paying, you paying a low money. car payment right there. That's, that's yeah. literally a now, car now payment. Now you looking at it like, well, you know, I like the <laughs> that nigga got money, I, bro. I don't like hair everywhere because I don't use a razor, so I don't like hair anywhere. The razor is way to go. Use yeah. clippers. Either way, the hair be going everywhere. Hey, and then I, I said, learn to do it yourself. What's up, Keon? And and I want this knee. I be wanting this knee. I can't get this knee by myself. I feel the facial hair on the facial hair. I feel I can't lie. My pros do that. That's not fifty dollars though. It's really not that hard. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I get, I get the shave and the beard for 50. But at the same time, That's barbers lot. do need inflation, if you think about it. For sure. I they get gotta it. Make it. I gotta go get it. They gotta yeah. make but it you have to understand, y'all crazy. That's Everything wild. goes <laughs> think, as, as a minimum for the, the edge of As a minimum. Oh, wait. Yo, Young Deuce has said something hilarious. <laughs> that Keon probably heard someone wasting money and just was summoned. He <laughs> 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 just appeared. It's like, that wait, was a that was his fit. And that's his bathroom. Somebody <laughs> wasted money. Wasted money? money? He seen the dollar bill with an XL. He said, Who's calling me? <laughs> oh, that is great. He looked into the sky and he saw that. He just knew it. His heart. He's like, I gotta, I gotta pull up. Two hundred a month. Two hundred a month. Yeah, you, you pricey. got a car on that head, bro. Yeah, man. You can shave. And this is important, yeah. bro. It is. I, it is. I mean, it's not. It's, yeah. This, if you really try, it's not. It's not. That's how much hard. I pay for my house cleaning. I can't do it right. It's not. I can never get it as good as they do it. Of course, it's, bro. It, it takes time. You know, you gotta, it, it takes it's time. It's an open mic, man. You, you can do, do it. No, Monday. You yeah, it takes, it takes time, bro. I don't have yeah. time to learn. I'm too they old to learn this week? new shit. No, you, no, you're not. Dog. <laughs> every, week? I promise. every other week. Oh, every other week. Yeah, so I can get it decent, but yeah. They clean the whole. Oh, they clean the shit out yeah. too. Really? Oh man, that's fantastic. So the line Lonzo Lonzo Lamani got her too. Same person. Then I like going to the barbershop. And, and, and square yeah. footage, of course. Uh, by by amount of rooms, I feel that. How yeah. many bedrooms y'all got? Got two. Mm. Now, Tony over more. here thinking like, man, it's gonna cost you. A little little little. I got a double. <laughs> but I, I'm like I this when it comes to money. Certain things, I'm not. I'm not sparing nothing. I agree with you. You know what I mean? Like certain things, like barber going to the barber. I'm like, I got. I got to get this. Spare no expense. Yeah, obviously. I went doing no hundred. The hundred's crazy. Yeah, I think you will. You're gonna be at a hundred. I think you will. You're gonna be at a hundred soon enough. Exactly. No, they go because up. I'm you, like, because you know what? They'll what start you traveling. You gotta, you'll start having them like, come to the crib. It could, it could get there. You gotta start preparing yourself right now. I ain't paying no hundred dollars. No it's coming, dude. You gotta try it. You just gotta try it. I don't say that about you. My barber as a kid was five dollars. No doubt. He came to my house. He came to my house. Twelve. That's crazy. I came to LA. It was twenty off top. I was like, whoa. My first moved out here. My dad cut my hair. My dad used to take us to the barber. Y'all being, y'all think this day and age you ain't paying twenty? You ain't paying twenty for sure. I paid a haircut and the edge of face. Okay. Yeah. So for me, they shade the head and the edge of face. But the fact, I'm not even mad at you because you getting the facial shave and the top. Yeah. Yeah, I'm mad that they just be like, oh, just that's the crazy. Yeah. Just this, 50? Yeah. 50? Just, just this. for the face, just edge for the face. Edge it's edge a 50 minimal. The thing is, like, he didn't even like. I was like, all he really did was like, he combed it, he cut it one time with like with a guard, and then he just lined up the bottom, lined up the top, and was like, pa pa. How'd it look? <laughs> <laughs> did it look good? No, like that was the yeah, crazy yeah, part. Crazy I was just part, like, this yeah. is exactly oh, like what yeah. I would have done. Yeah, 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 because yeah, when you get your yeah. beard hit, you want to see a different. Right. I wanted yeah. to see mm -hmm. something. You want to, you want to see. Yeah. Like, oh, I, I yeah. never yeah. let them touch my shit. Yeah. I was so, so you mad. want, you want to see some like geometry yeah. in your yeah. head. Like, oh, yeah. 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 give me the right rag. Put me back. Give me the soap. Give me the razor. Razor, all that. Like, yeah. Dang man, that's pricey. Yeah, everything, everything's going up. And the worst thing when you when you when you go to the barbershop, you feel your hair like I still feel hair, man. Hey, can you come back? You're like, no, 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 bro. You can sit down. I feel hair right here, homie. Still, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Run that. That's run. Like, like, get, get all that. Yeah. I still feel. Yeah. Yep, up, bro, I feel that. a little patch right here, homie. My barber is deaf, so that is has been. So how do you tell what you want? Um, I had to show him a picture the first time, <laughs> and this is, it was rough for me because I was living in Glendale. I didn't have a car, so it was just like I gotta find whatever's out there. But it's you know that's Armenia city, mm -hmm. so it was like I walk. And the dude was like, no, you got to do an appointment. So I left about it there. Then I went to the other place. And he was like, yeah. And I was trying to talk. And I was looking like, oh, shit. They don't, either they don't speak English or they're deaf. And then I 
le- later learned, like the second time I came back, that they're deaf. And I was like, the Oh, whole, every barber? barber? Both Poor? of them. They're brothers. So they're both deaf. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh. But why I've been going act, to them why before. You, why are you frustrated by this? It's crazy. Because it's like, I showed him <laughs> he has, he has a joke he's thinking about. Time, I've gotten, <laughs> over time, I've gotten better with like communicating with him and like knowing the signs and stuff like that. But I go there and get the same thing. It's been, I've been going there for like four years. Then I look like, I'm y'all know both are going to be deaf. No, I'm more upset because the barbershop is the barbershop. We talk. We 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 talk to our barbers to for therapy. You can't a, talk to them. You just you just in silence. Quit. Yeah, we, they be having like Netflix playing and stuff. But for you, just in general, they have the subtitles on and they be they paying attention to the stuff. Look, they communicate with head. each other. Don't read that. They communicate hey, with each other. But if you were deaf, wouldn't you love that? To not talk to nobody? No, to go in there and be able to talk to somebody. You don't have to try to figure out what they're saying. They know exactly what you're saying. You can relate to them. They they understand. Yeah, it's, a, it's literally like when I go in there, it's like other people who are deaf, they come in and they speak with them and all kinds of stuff. Like but it's how's crazy. How's the barber going to talk when his hands is full? <laughs> He's like... They they look because the other person will be doing something. They'll look and they'll like respond yeah, with head nods and stuff. Hold these clippers while you talk to him. <laughs> right? It's, but it, the thing is, he's the fastest barber I've ever been to. Wait, why would why would you need him to talk to? Yeah, because I'm like this. He's like he's like oh. That's why I be in the barber shop for hella long. Either. Yeah, you know what? I don't want my barber being in the barber for being talking yeah. for like an hour. I mean, like, it don't take that long. Like I don't need the thing. conversation. Yeah, man, man, they, they be he, holding court, bro. No shade, no shade, but he's because we're in like fifteen minutes, like no joke, like fifteen minutes or less. Bro, come all the way right. out. Get in your face. Denzel is the same character. He be in the middle of the barbershop yeah. like, bro, you know goddamn right. well. I got yeah. shit to do That today. don't sound like a so bad barbershop, Amir. Y'all going, y'all going it's not. I want my barbers. When, but I'm, it's like, the thing when is, I'm in the chair, I don't need the conversation. Yeah. When I'm waiting, I yeah. like the conversation. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm in the chair. Yeah. If I'm yeah. waiting, I like the conversation. Have you in on time, like every time I go? Have you any of you ever gone to like a barber college before and got your haircut? Yeah. I used to let them tear my head up. Bro, they used to tear it. The thing is, like, sometimes you get the greatest experience ever. Like, this person knows how to cut hair other times yeah. you got to scab all the they way all around your whole oh head they tear you to pieces they tear my hair. The, now the first yeah. couple times i went they didn't know how to cut my hair though like they're armenian they yeah. don't know how to cut black people hair so yeah. they're cutting against the so against a the couple grain. times oh, yeah a couple times i came in i was like i look like chicken little <laughs> so i was like all right dog like i had to tell him i was like cut this direction yeah so i had to show him like you know this way and he's like okay and he got it and ever since then i don't even <laughs> have to tell him he knows exactly what i want i don't even have to go i go in there daff him up Sit in the chair, get my cut. I'm in and out ten minutes. What like, are their prices? No uh, he uh, twenty five before Jeez. like tip and stuff. So it's not not bad at all. Not yeah, bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's so like half of what you pay DC. Sound. Half. And you get the beer. You don't. But you don't get, I don't the, get beer. the beer. No, no, no. That's why. But it's it's so, extra. Maybe like ten dollars for that or whatever. Yeah, I just book fine. online and to the thing or whatever website or whatever. And they always they every time I go in there always on time. Now are they nice or you just tolerate them? They're nice. Okay. They 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 treat me with respect. They always That's make sure I'm good. They they communicate. There is one. No, guy not there nice. Like good. nice, kind. I'm talking. Oh, about. Like, are they are they dope? They cut? Or are you just tolerate them? Because I used to go to this uh, Lat- Latino I, barber shop because they were close and convenient. They weren't the best. Yeah, but they would just get me like, cool. <clears throat> no, he, I remember that he's definitely got better. Yeah. But I, I don't. It's been so long. I'm like I don't know. I because since I moved out here, it's been like well for a while. I didn't have a haircut. Then I would go to a barber shop in North Hollywood, and this lady would cut my hair, and I just it was like I tolerated it. But mm-hmm. I haven't got my hair cut by like, like the people I usually get cut, but like my cousin or my dad in so long. I don't know to compare. Oh damn! Also, before I moved here, I didn't have short hair, so I hated short hair. Oh okay. So it was like a thing of just readapting to that kind of thing. Gotcha. I don't have nothing to compare it to. Yeah, for real. Got it. Have... <clears throat> nah, I'm not even gonna go there. Mm-hmm. I, I, I censor myself. What's up? Yeah. How's everybody doing? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you about to say don't something like that's not going to end well now. for me. Yeah. No, I was going. It's like that's not going to end well for me. I'm good, man. You know, <laughs> I yeah, do want to go back. I do want to go. I back. know better, man. I'm sitting next you to you. You want to go back? You always ready. You no. always got ammo for me. No. You going back to Denzel? No, no the other I'm you. Yes, you. you. Mean? Every time I do anything, you be ready, man. You be like, all right, Brennan says something. You be these asking are, for these are my pay, my yeah, mom, my grandma. Brennan be asking for it. I'm just talking about, man. I be chilling. So what? When we gonna start this food thing? You brought that up. Uh... Like I said, we already got the money. <laughs> <laughs> so, because I posted about the Popeye's biscuits yesterday yeah, on uh-huh. my IG, people was like, yo, y'all should eat those on daddy issues. And I was like, we keep talking about bringing food in here and eating it. And we never do. And we never do. Never. I mean, be, like, is it got to be taste it or is it just because we eat together, it? though? It could just be us trying new food or just tasting it or just eating in general. I mean, I'd I want to try the biscuits, like a, like a mukbang. There's a there's a Popeyes not too far from here. Oh, <clears throat> but the whole episode should be a food episode. 
who has the best. I don't know if people want to hear that. But yeah, they do. They I mean, they're some people, but not everybody. Bro, Keanu, uh, everybody. To answer your question, uh, Tony Baker was late. He's the one who put his money in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, asked, yeah. he just asked who was late. It was nice, Keanu. Two. It was great. It was great. It's not even going to bring in a bunch of, bring in a bunch of Thanksgiving but, you but know, also, sloppy food. That means everybody has, has a, a task <laughs> Soup. to go yeah. pick it up. As in, like, you got to get up like That's the thing, though, man. This group is raggedy about getting shit Uber eats that shit. Yeah, you can be on the it. way and then Uber eats it and meets you right here at the door. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, then it, depends, that, it depends on the place. There's not, a, there's not a, there. not a lot yeah, of restaurants around good, here. Uh, it's take the pressure off me. Because if we if we do the food, the, the pressure's going to fall on me. No, for sure. Because the rest of these niggas is ass. No, I'm not. So, no. <laughs> you know, I'm the most. I'm the most. How the late cat late talking about your ass cheeks? Come on, man. I mean, what do you do, Chad? What you mean? With daddy issues. I have a great read. Okay. Said, I'm, I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm on time. You did a good job outside no, of the word. He, he fumbled. fumbled. He fumbled. He fumbled. Over his you fumbled. He fumbled. Oh, we this don't have not, to, This is not the take action group. Mm. No, I, you okay. think I don't know that? Uh, yeah. You think I don't know that? <laughs> Are you kidding me? They they pretty much follow leads. Yeah, I know. Damn. So I'm saying. I mean, it, that's what it is. I know. So they're they're no, here. No, it just depends. No, on what? What does it depend on? What? Gotta want to do it. Yeah, y'all don't want to do nothing. Yes, we do. Okay. I don't, don't want to do, do a food spirit, challenge. No, the thing is, the there's a difference between nothing. like I like if the idea of doing do something. Food, if you want to actually do something, you do it. You like you would like the idea of doing things. Y'all no. be like, this idea sounds fun, but I don't actually want to put any effort towards it. Right. Making this no, happen. That means you really don't want it. First of all, if we're gonna deal with food, I'm gonna keep it simple and use Hello Fresh. That's what I would do. That's what I would do. That's what you would do. Yeah, I would use Hello Fresh, and with Hello Fresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients, and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Kip, skip. Oh, skip oh. trips to the grocery oh. store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. That's why it's America's number one meal kit. April is Earth Month, and HelloFresh is always committed to a cleaner planet. On average, HelloFresh meals have 31% lower carbon footprint than the same meals made from supermarket ingredients. Plus, nearly all HelloFresh packaging materials are curbside, recyclable, in most areas in the U.S., so not everywhere, but in most areas in the U.S., mm-hmm. you can get your your thang thangs recycled. <laughs> um, good food is too precious to waste. HelloFresh is pre-portioned ingredients cut down on your food waste by at least twenty three percent compared to grocery shopping, which is good for your wallet and the planet. Man. Oh, good double, for that we call one, that a huh? double whammy. The double double. <laughs> Looking for the more double, ways double. to save this spring, HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and twenty five percent cheaper than takeout. Spend less time in the kitchen with quick, easy meals like Hello. Fresh fast and fresh pineapple chicken tacos or falafel power bowls ready in 15 minutes or less. Oh, what? that's quick. And no worries if you're up to no worries if you're not a pro in the kitchen. Hello Fresh full foolproof recipes arrive pre-portioned, once again pre-portioned and easy to prepare in just a few steps. With HelloFresh, you're getting seasonal ingredients picked at a peak ripeness for quality you can taste. Ingredients travel from the farm to your home in less than seven days, mm. so you know they fresh. Oh, oh that's man. a good look at this read. Not a single fumble. He I'm did very, fumble off top. No, no, I did. The very I'm, first word was a no, fumble. I'm very smooth, like man. I'm very smooth. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm very smooth. So what you do is go to HelloFresh.com <laughs> slash issues50 issues. and use code issues50 for 50% issues. off. Half off? Bank. Wait, they get half off? Half off. Damn, Damn. That's lit. Yeah. 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 Plus your fr- your first box ships free. I'm hungry. Oh, man. Hell Once yeah. again, that's HelloFresh.com slash Issues50. Issues. Use code Issues50 for 50% issues. off. Plus your first box ships free. It's highly encouraged to voice the following hello. Never mind. Ah, there was the fumble. There was the fumble. Get you HelloFresh. You been America's number one food. meal kit. Yeah. Hey. HelloFresh. Goddamn food. Cool. HelloFresh Hello Fresh is dope, man. Right. Good ass time. How long do it take y'all to cook? Are y'all slow cookers or fast cookers? I'm fast in a mug. Depends on what it is. But I only cook the things I know. So for me, I'm just like, it's like a well-oiled machine. I'm yeah. like, I know exactly. Chicken nuggets and air fryer? Nah, well, yeah. First of all, yes. <laughs> air fryer. First of all, yes. <laughs> you know, I, I, do, I, you know, I do some frittatas. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, I you know, I'm saying I'll, you know, I'll hook up some like, you know, I'll, I'll make up frittata some like sound fancy, potatoes. easy as hell. Huh? Super easy. I, I, I said I do frittata easy stuff. sound fancy is one of those things. Like, make it What's frittata. the most oh, difficult yeah. thing Mad you can make easy. from scratch? I can make anything with a recipe. Um, <laughs> I'll I'll like, do that. Not no, they can't. <laughs> like that is not true. But like I've, uh, I mean, the most difficult thing I've made is like I've made lasagna before. 
Um, that felt pretty Lasagna difficult. Pretty it was pretty. Lasagna pretty Lasagna is difficult. You if you make it from scratch, that. that's a different thing. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah it, was. A, it was. It was like I was scratch. Scratch. you got to do you your make pasta. The pasta. Right. No, I didn't make. I didn't make the pasta. Yeah. But I was. It's that's like layering the pasta. Yeah, I didn't do that. You didn't layer. You didn't make. No, I put the layering. So I didn't make the pasta. Like I didn't. Oh yeah. But I had pasta and I was putting it in there. So was it good? You had to cook the meat and put the meat in there. Lasagna was my favorite food as a kid. Mine too. Yeah, me too. Because lasagna gives you everything. And it's filling. I like that. It was great. Is it? It's mad. Man, it's filling. So good. Yeah. yeah. What can you make from scratch? What's your not from scratch? But what's your what's your? Have we done this? On, we talked about this before once. This scratch? Is my made like what's your go-to? Yeah. The spaghetti and the celery. I remember this. Oh, we weren't talking about what we can make from scratch. So we were just scratch. About... I can't make anything from scratch. No, neither can I. So I can pour some water from scratch. Yeah. Dion like has exited the conversation. Oh, you, oh, don't you don't cook? be cooking? Uh, I cook breakfast. Okay. You look like you can eat though. Mm-hmm. Damn. Damn. Brother, that's that's cold. Do. I'll just keep that bullet so in my chamber at the right time. <laughs> I mean, like, if you can, I'd say, I, I, I yeah, don't know. Is that really necessary? Well, I'm just saying, like, it's necessary. Hey, said, you know? man, I'm, just saying, saying, I'm going, going to therapy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's just no winning for me. You don't know what people go through, man. You got to come in there. Brennan has no filter, huh? Just no filter, bro. Hey, yo, hey, yo, Mir, can you tell me where the closest Home Depot is? They have a Nooses. <laughs> and nooses? Little, because was I kind of feel like... It was, just, you know, it was uncalled. Man. Man. Yeah, I, I was terrible. Tough. Just I, tell them all. I apologize, Dion. Nah, don't oh, put man, more. You put more man. steam on it God, now. You there's, no, just, there's nothing I can do You might as well double like, down like, and own just, it, you fat ass. You might as well gotta own it at this point. Good news for what? What's gonna hold you up? Yeah, wow. I appreciate You gotta own it. Don't pull back now. I'm sorry about what I said. What's gonna hold you up? Wait, well, how y'all gonna laugh at his? It's different, because I was mocking you. We're mocking you. Yeah, right, 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 right. Because they didn't have the same time. I should have came to Chaz, But yeah, you make breakfast. Yeah. Breakfast is easy to make. You talking you tell the cereal or you like what you make for oh, breakfast? We gonna keep doing that. No, I'm just I'm just <laughs> clarify which breakfast you making. <laughs> the looks though, you see those looks. Like Deion just gets it's up. Really, Deion is like, 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 you know, guys like, like man. pancakes, waffles. We, we never saw him again after that, that day. Last time we saw Love Deion, niggas, man. Just walked off into the sunset. Love y'all niggas, man. <laughs> <laughs> they said I had no idea Brennan this year. Brennan this shit started. Oh, wow. 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 Tough. Wow. Really? He played the bro and played play victim. Oh, man, I'm here for a good time. Why do you keep coming for me? Yeah. <laughs> what I do? I love uh, you guys, man. What do they do to you? I love I all you guys. Came, I really came to Brennan very vulnerable. Is this what you're going to do right now? I said to myself, nice like this. I wish. He said, oh, brother, man. Here you go, Dion. Get out of here. Get out of here. man. This Negro. Because I know you can eat. Wow, that's what you said. Right that? Yeah. Ah, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm a really very cold. self-conscious about my weight and whatnot, man. I've been going to therapy six <laughs> times a week. Man, man. That's a uh, lot of therapy. Leon so we had quite a story with his weight. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, don't yeah. give me like this, dude. What's, What's your story? the story? I mean, you know, What's he, the story? he lost man, man, weight. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, I did. I did mm-hmm. lost weight. Hey, that's why I met uh, Tony. And really? I remember he came to me, uh, hey, Dion, about the cereal situation, man. Remember that conversation? Which one? Remember I was telling you, I was like, cereal is one of those foods that is like in between of solids and <laughs> liquid and, and liquid. What? And your body is like trying to decide, it stays in your body a long time because it's trying to decide what, is it liquid or is it, cause it needs to extract the liquid from, and I'm telling him this, he was like, I'm addicted to cereal, man. Is it really their problem? I was like, I was just told what somebody told me. It's like, so, so try to avoid- if you drink water and you eat, isn't that the same thing? As in, well, I, I, this is somebody told me. I don't know how did the, other analogies, but I was telling him this story, and he was, sorry, like, really like, he was like, "Is it really that problem?" I'm addicted to cereal, man. Is it really that problem? I was like, "This this nutritionist nutritionist person told me this." He was like, "So just try to avoid the minimum amount of sugar, so it stays in your body a long time, uh-huh. and it extracts the liquid, and then you know the solids and stuff." And he was like, "Man, damn, Dion," and I was like super thin at the time. And he was like, "So he was like looking at me for like losing weight advice." <laughs> Oh, you used to coach? You used to coach? Yeah, yeah. He put, we was at, we was at Denny's. You remember this story at all? Uh-huh. Damn. I don't remember none of this. And I, we was at Denny's, and then in the parking lot, he was like, hey, Dion. He used to put me to the side, I'm like, <laughs> so the story you was telling there. Freaking down a little bit. The cereal. I can see myself. It, sa- it sounds like Tony. That sounds like Tony. That sounds like Tony, bro. So what you said was true. Yeah. Tell me, tell me more. He didn't cereal. want to talk inside the restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want everybody to know that I ate that much cereal, yeah. but... Oh, you know, I'll be vocal. Yeah, yeah. And that was, you know, you fresh out of a weight loss competition. Oh, yeah, that's what you were saying? Yeah, oh, I was like, I lost like 80 pounds. Oh, damn, damn dude. What did you change what yeah. you eating? 
No, it was, it was a, 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 if y'all want to uh, check that it out. Life shit, huh? No, no, no. Oh. God damn, the shit on the end, what it was? No, <laughs> Brandon, <'cause>, no, <laughs> yeah, what it was, <laughs> right? Life shit. So, no. No. So, <laughs> that so was a cult, back that's in, why. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was a Still cult. Is. Uh, 2009, I was a part of a weight loss program called, um, uh, God, what was it? Um, Hip Hop Abs mm. with Sean T. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm, sorry, oh. that was, I'm sorry, that was 2005. Ironically, Beachbody was the same program that picked up Body Gospel in 2009. Uh -huh. So they liked it. They liked me from the original one, uh, Hip Hop Abs. And then 2009, they said, come back. We like your energy. And you could be like the face of this brand. Oh, uh, with, shit. Uh, Donna Jared Richards. from Subway. Do pretty much. Donna, Donna, Donna Richards. Minus, minus the touch in the kids. Oh, 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 the other stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Too, too soon. Too no, soon. Too right, he, right. he watches this show. No, too You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. He's in prison. He's like, come on, get over it, man. It's four years. Uh, so Donna Richards, she did an a, a infomercial called uh, Body Gospel for Beachbody. If you can look it up, you'll see my, my success story of when I started and then when I, how I ended. Got the before and after pictures. Um, and I was the, the guy um, that lost the most weight. No, no yeah. offense, how big were you? This size. <laughs> <laughs> I am... This size, because right now, because you're like, over here, you did not. I'm over here. I ain't got nothing to I say. I gave it all killing. back. My way was Me like, too. you'll be back, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, know, you know what's wild, you think though? You just, <laughs> I did learn about fat cells yeah, like that. It's like back. the way that it, it's if you already if you do grow and get big, it's significantly easier to get big again. If somebody who's skinny then gets big, because I don't, bro, I don't never remember you being big, bigger back in the day. It was always before yeah. we knew you. Sure. Oh, uh, this was this was two thousand so two thousand seven. I probably can find the uh, before and after pictures. That would be great. Yeah. You don't get to say anything else, Brendan. I, I, you the way you, I didn't even. <laughs> that'd I just be great. Like, <laughs> like the way you great. look at me when I said oh, that'd be God, great. Man. Like shut up, Brendan. Brandon. Like you know so, what? Show support now. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I want to see. I'm curious. Yeah, I probably look it up. He said right now he's the before <laughs> picture, so I'm like, I want to see the after. Probably, you know, I'll like, look it up. Did you go by Dion Lag or Dion? So, so when I did hip hop abs, I was Dion Lack. Uh -huh. And then because they try to re, re uh, rebrand, repurpose and rebrand me, I had to go by Roderick Lacking. Oh, mm. so they didn't say, "Hey, that's the same guy from another program." Oh snap! So then, when I first did, I had <laughs> I just had like an afro, and then by the time I, I did, need to see this. Yeah, <laughs> hey, so then, this was before the infamous Doritos commercial. Yeah, okay. matter of fact, as a matter of fact, the um, the two thousand nine was during. The weight loss journey. That's why I knew Dion was brilliant when he did that Doritos commercial. Is it Roderick or Roderick? People say that all the time, and I never had the opportunity to ask my mom that. Oh, because he you died. He's so talking about the spelling. spelling. Yeah, exactly. It's, oh, it's, it's spelled the same. They both spell the same way, but it's about how you how you pronounce it. R O D E R I C K. R O D E R I C K. Okay, lacking. So you don't know how to say your own name. No, he said it was just I don't know because growing up, people only called me Dion, mm -hmm. and people at school call me Roderick or Roderick. Mm -hmm. Oh, Roderick. Or so Roderick. you never asked. Which yeah, one I never said, Mom. Why, which, how, how did you want me to? I've never been more offended. Brennan's being more, very Chaz like this episode. Oh, oh wow, damn, I damn. damn. If you surpass me, I do mine that on hurts. purpose. That so hurts. this is just you being Brennan, you. No, Brennan, yeah, this you just being yourself, Brennan. Yeah. This is me. Yeah, this is me. I do mine intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't have another gear. This is. This, this, I'm this a is lightning me. rod. You're just this Brennan. Loose <laughs> Brennan's a loose cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, Chad, like, Chad and I like, have beef. Oh, We've had the, beef. What's the worst thing I can say right now? No, you I and I have beef because of, you've set me on paths of, of pain. And you know exactly what I'm I always bring it up. You know how much I hate you. I've also brought you a very good anime. What's, what then. did you bring me? I brought you Boji. Ranking oh, the King. Oh, talking. Sorry. Yeah, we're going really into the anime down. conversation. Sorry. Yeah, we went into the anime. Sorry. Um, this is not the anime place. These, this isn't the anime yeah, place. They over here. They just, they just checked Tony out Tony tapped out on the Attack on Titan because the cats cried too much. Oh Who my did? God, they were whining. <laughs> you did, the first Titan. two episodes was pretty... Uh, you wouldn't be whining? It was it was good, but it, they do did cry too much. Somebody, There's a lot less crying in the last couple of Somebody said nerd but, stuff. Don't say that. It is nerd what stuff. I was thinking. Not, a, not offensive. DC, you, you calm down over there. Yeah, <laughs> hey, I'm a nerd. Offensive. I'm a nerd. Sports is nerdy too. Sick of this. Yeah, look at time. everybody's loving it. See, blur yeah, game. Ranking of Kings was anime. nice. I agree. Nice. Nerd, you got man. lucky. Come on, man. You got Put lucky. You I like Revenger right now. So I know something to look into. I'm rewatching Jujutsu Kaisen right now. Sports is nerdy, Sherry. Great one. It's nerdy shit. 
Bring back animation. Bring oh, hey, what's up, Dwayne? I agree with you. Doing? Sports is not nerdy. It is nerdy. Jocks. The stuff y'all be knowing about. <laughs> Jocks. Nerdy, nerdy Man. <laughs> Man. <laughs> <laughs> Sweat muscle. Now, I watched Man. Attack on Titan. I watched a lot of it. You did. I even saw the movie in, in theaters. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. But it was just. I was there with shut you. Shut up. Yeah, they cried a lot. And it's, it's a lot of watch, anime you should like watch that. It. You should watch Jujutsu Kaisen. I think you like crying? that. No, no, it's no. Okay. It's about that action. Yeah, that, that that show is about that action okay. for real. It's, it is that. good. It's really good. Highly recommend that one. If you like, if you like the idea of anime, you've seen some. You like a beginner like show. Uh, My Hero Academia will be, great. be, will be a great show. beginner great show. Okay. Yeah, My Hero Academia show. will be a great. Ninja one. Scroll. No, <laughs> that is not one. <laughs> super super that is not. No matter what, it's a classic. No, just have you seen it lately? We watched it. We watched that show. It is it is rough. Ninja Scroll. And I can pull this up you on YouTube. You got rape scene yeah, in Ninja Scroll. Of course yeah. you can watch that it. That was hell of visceral. It's my favorite anime. Ninja I bet you Ninja it is. Scroll. Mm -hmm. Wait, but it's only. But the thing is, you like it's nostalgia. Like, like have you watched it recently yeah. though? It is, it doesn't hold up. It's not good compared to what anime is now. Said I like it. But what you can like? you can say that with a lot of kung fu movies back in the day. You watch stuff now, you be like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This, they could have done a lot. Of, but right. don't, I mean, it's not great. I can watch Five Deadly Venoms right now and be like, man, this is awful but great. Yeah. It is bad, what, because, one you bad like? because of technology or Chinese bad? super ninjas. It's, it's horrible but great. Mm -hmm. I, I saw Ninja Scroll that for the first time like amazing. last year. What, so, a Ninja Scroll? I saw it for the first time like last year. So for Ninja me, Scroll? Yeah. Oh, you came in with fresh, soft eyeballs. Man. That's what I'm saying though. I came yeah. in with like, I know anime and I'm watching. I've seen all this other anime. I was like, this is. No, nah, man, you came in too late. Well, the thing is for you, the only is good because of nostalgia though. That's this my is point. good, man. This is my favorite. <laughs> It's, it's messed. They got some messed up shit in that one. <coughs> yeah. up, it's all kind of messed up shit. Somebody suggested Ninja Scroll. There death, was a rape death in, note. In Ninja Scroll. It's, yeah, very visceral one. Oh wow! <laughs> Look at <laughs> time. Dude, this is the moment he drinks his water. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, it's a lot of wild shit in anime, man. It's a lot of wild shit. I, I, did, I did not like, know. I saw like, a lot of anime with these women anime, just getting raped man, they by like weird creatures and aliens. That's like, hentai. That that that's hentai, bro. That's not anime. No, it wasn't hentai. He was watching. If they're getting raped by creatures and animals, then it's hentai. That's a very different thing. What rape? Like they showing? They like showing the rape? Like in hentai, I guess. I don't watch hentai, but like anime don't do hentai. I never knew there was like rape. Dion, you were quiet over there. What was that? They, they Dion looked at me like they do. They be showing a lot showing. of anime. Yeah, like really just. Well, it depends. Like, it's different. Everything. The thing is, people don't realize that anime isn't a like anime is not a genre. Anime is just like literally in Japanese, it means animation. And there's a million. They are huge about animation there are in Japan. Different genres. So there's entire genres within it. Like there's a whole genre of sports anime. Mm -hmm. right. There's a whole genre of like like uh, shonen, which is like kids, like like kid protagonists. Uh -huh. You know, there's love anime. There's music anime. There's mm -hmm. food oh, anime. Okay. There's so some you, that you aren't know. any action at all whatsoever. Yeah, like Death Note is a, is considered a shonen so anime. It's like you pick your poison. This is what yeah, I you like. can get. Whatever, whatever your taste I'll is, you can action. find it. There are thousands. Uh, of action is usually my go-to. Action right. is the most popular for and sure. And then in the action joints, it'd be women in there getting done in. So mm. Jujutsu Kaisen is one of the new, is a contemporary anime. That's mm. the one I recommend to Tom. It's great. It's really good. Uh, it's really really good. And I was saying for you, My Hair Academia is also. How, now, how long is that? Is that a? It's like a series. Jujutsu, or? Jujutsu Kaisen is one season. I think it's twelve or thirteen episodes, and it's done. Mm. But, it's but gonna, there's it's, a storyline too, though, right? Oh, mm -hmm. it's a great storyline. That, that, that was one of the newer ones. You were like, "Hey, bro, they're about yeah." yeah I put you on that. One. I was like, "Yo, you got you did you know, no, I didn't. I brought that show up. To you me. did not bring me Jujutsu Kaisen. You said, "What did you rank?" We was like, "You were like, what did you put your put your uh, your stamp on?" Whatever you said, and I was like, "Jujutsu Kaisen's the one." I was like, "That would be but the had, one I, I had seen it at that point. I didn't know that. I'm just yeah, I had seen it from when it first came out. So you can't put me on that. I'll go watch Sailor Moon. My Hero Academia. Hey, Sailor Moon is solid. Spell it for me, B. My Hero. Sailor Moon. Academia. My Hero Academia. You put me on today. I watched it. It's good. That one I wouldn't have put. I mean, I love that one. But if you're like, oh, the crying thing, the first season there's gonna be some crying. Um, but like it's still tapped out. Academia. He sees, he sees Academia. into his uh, emotional side more than Tony. You know what I mean? And if you like yeah. horror, or you're I'm like, very or like emotional. I'm just I, I'm <laughs> if you like horror, say, Promise oh, Neverland. This is going nuts over there. He's in death notes. I'm big emotion out here. I don't know. Yeah, like the chat yeah, liking it though. One Punch is good. I agree. The chat's like, yeah, First anime. Season of one Punch. Otherwise, yeah. Second season was all. It was it was entertaining. I mean, I like anime though. You do? I was watching it before all you. Is considered is is is, 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 is Teenage hmm? Mutant Ninja Turtles considered anime? No, no. I knew that. Well, what? the thing is, I mean, <laughs> no, I mean it's an American thing. But the thing most people don't realize is that a lot of Japanese studios that make anime made a lot of the cartoons that we watched growing up. So you think about like the DC, like the '90s Batman, like with like the side, the flathead, and all that yeah. kind of stuff. That was made by a Japanese animation studio. 
You know, it's like the Superman, the Justice League, all that Japanese animation studio. So it's considered anime. So that's there's a that's we actually had a whole episode that we talked about that because it's like what is the definition of anime in Japan? They're like it's a cartoon. Like that's what they say. Anything that's a cartoon, they consider anime. So they'll see Looney Tunes and so that's anime. But wow. for us, a lot of people here are just like anime is a Japanese style of animation. And some people take it a step further and saying that it has to be made by a Japanese uh, animation studio and play on the Japanese. Uh, like aired on Japanese networks for it to be considered an anime. You know, some people say that these other countries are just eating, eating, they they'll say they're like culturally appropriating what black people do. Yeah. Are you niggas doing that with anime? <laughs> that happens a lot. Are you niggas? Um, so I mean, for me, it's like, what's the, what's the line between appropriate? Why is that question? Why is that question was rough? Why is that question was rough? Why is that question was Are y'all doing it? Why is it about y'all niggas? Like, what? I'm sorry. I'm just saying how it came out. Oh, so he was very, guys, Hold on. I didn't mean to say it like that, bro. You I'm said it detrimental too. I did. That shit hurt. That's funny. I'm just saying because I I see people giving them flack for dancing. I'm like, yo, this they they we're they're fans. Yeah. And no, I saw, for me, it's like, that's actually what I was going to get to. Is there's, right. a, there's American animation companies now uh -huh. that are making content that looks just like Japanese that's content. That's what I'm saying. And you can't tell the difference. Yeah. Like, looking at it, even they have Japanese voice actors do it. So it sounds Japanese, looks Japanese. And there's one particular uh, show that was made in Texas uh -huh. with Japanese voice actors that they aired on a Japanese station first before it aired anywhere else. That's crazy. And so the question is, is this anime? Mm. You know, and it's right. like people are just like, I don't know. Like Americans made it, so how can it be? You know, so why and the Japanese just, people just don't care. Why, why can't like, we appreciate instead of appropriate? Why why would it be appropriating for us to watch it and not just appreciate it? <laughs> no, I he mean, said, what what yeah? What is the definition for you in this particular? I'm, instance hey, of don't shoot the messenger. You you brought You brought the subject. I know. I just, define I, the question. Who, wait, wait, who gave know. you that message right now? No, I'm just saying I'll be seeing like some some young Japanese kids doing hip hop dances, and in the comments they're like, they're culturally appropriate. You see that all the yeah, time. Yeah, and I'm yeah. just like, yeah, for sure. Is it the, what's the flip? Is there a flip? I mean, it's like there's fair, a bunch. Of, in my there's, opinion. Well, I'm saying there's like somebody I mean, said. That a, that's a legit wait, question. What? Somebody what? said what? in the chat. They said a good thing. It's like you know, for example, shows like Afro Samurai. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like you know, black folk have loved you know kung fu and that kind of stuff. Boondocks. Yeah, and the Boondocks does a lot of like anime. anime. There's when, whole episodes of the Boondocks that are very anime like. When a white person raps, is that is that appropriating? You mean like, so you saying Eminem? People gonna say it. I'm, right? I'm asking. I'm, yeah, I saw, I saw, I saw it. I saw a, a video of an Asian dude. He was rapping. He sounded like a Rick Ross type, right? Mm -hmm. And it was very, yeah, right? Like, yeah, the, the Asian go, like, trap stuff this is crazy. Is, right, right. It's it was, crazy. But he was doing his in English, yeah. right? So I was like, wasn't even Korean trap, right? Which is actually kind of tough. I'm not. Yeah, even Korean mad trap goes hard. I'm not even mad. At if you it. ever heard it, it goes hard. But right. but I would go. I go like, well, is he just is he doing hip hop? But I go like the sound, the style, the voice he's using. I go like, it's probably even, not the voice you grew up with. He doesn't sound like a a cat from Texas. Right, yeah. he sounded like a Bun B ish type of dude. Oh snap, Iggy Azalea. I was thinking the same thing, Iggy. I was thinking oh, for Iggy. sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. So she, I go like, is that a problem? Probably, right? If you're making money off of it, I don't know yeah. what 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 ventures into the. I love this genre. I want to create more art, and what goes into the appropriating? Which one do you say? If I see somebody doing a dance and they're break dancing and they're Japanese or Chinese, I don't see him break dancing as appropriate. I go like, he's break dancing. This isn't. It, it is an. What art you're saying there's a difference in between like rapping break, and well, because break like dancing changing, is an Olympic, changing an who you sport are now. to become a part of something that wasn't a part of what you grew up with or a culture so like culturally. Is it you that or are question. you reproducing something that's not? Your so culture. that raises the question. Yeah. So like, let's say a black person grew up in China or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. and they didn't have any part of hip hop culture. They moved to the United States and they fall in love with hip hop and they start, you know, making rapping and emulating the rappers they see here versus like a white person who's like from the hood. You know, they're like, this is all they know. This is what they grew up in. This is who they are. And they're rapping. You know, like on face value, you would say the white person is appropriating. But from what you just said, Amir, like it would be the black person from China, right? Because you're saying it's like, I, yeah, it's I would culture. say so. culturally. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Culturally, is, is it is it about color? Or is it about culture? I think I'm saying that's a little bit tough. Of both. That's a, yeah. <clears throat> See my point? Because like, I do. There are some some white cats raised like in the hood, hood probably mm -hmm. worse than a lot of you know, and they be that's what they know. Mm -hmm. I think it boils down to another part is that uh, as far as like cultural appropriating black things or whatever, it's just that because everything that we do is so mainstream. So <clears throat> everybody just takes parts of it. Because they'd be like, I grew up in the, wherever I grew up at, I talk like this. And they'd be like, you don't. You don't. I gotta, I, you learn how you to talk like yeah. I got a white friend from my, from my from my neighborhood who, I'm talking about like four to like 19. We just totally blew by the fact that he was saying nigga left and right. <laughs> we didn't even think it was a problem because like, he was, he was, with y'all. We with never called him white boy mm -hmm. because he was us. Mm -hmm. He was a friend. We didn't have a racist neighborhood until we was like, 
why y'all let him say a nigga? And I was like, mm-hmm. that was just how we was talking. The outside is coming in. Right. Like, what the <laughs> fuck is this shit? Yeah. What does he think he doing? What's up with your boy? <laughs> <laughs> then I was like, and I had to be the, hey, man. Hey. I you had like, to learn that it was okay for Puerto Ricans to say it. Right. I didn't know, I I didn't know it at first. Right. I didn't learn that too. When, when I, when, uh, Wait, it's okay for it, Puerto Ricans. It, 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 it depends. It depends. Fat yeah. Joe, yeah. DJ Khaled. Be, just, just, DJ Khaled definitely Wait, DJ don't Khaled need to be saying that. Yes. We, we, we the we, best, we nigga. Who we? We, oh, literally, nigga. I'm so hood. Literally. Literally. That's 2007. That's 2007. DJ Khaled is saying nigga. Bro, 2007, he said it. He literally said it. He literally said it on I'm so hood. I'm not joking. Yes. In the opening number, nobody else rapped yet. We are the best. Who we, nigga? Literally. All right, here we go. Great question. What? Wow. What? When are you allowed? In what culture? Because what if? What if DJ Khaled has African in his blood? Okay. What if there's Egyptian? <laughs> what if, <I'm> <laughs> not, <laughs> that's true. Okay, but 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 what if he's Egyptian? Oh, what, what if he's? Oh what if he's? Oh what if he's? Egyptians are more black than us. What if he's? No, no, I don't. No, I don't know. No, I'm asking. No, no, wait, wait, no. I'm asking. Africa. I'm asking. No, wait, wait. wait. Everything in Africa is not wait, the same. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Amir. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because because you know who you got in this conversation. Wait, wait, no. Here's the question. Because here's here's the question. Now, if you go like, well, I am like when I heard Fat Joe said, Fat Joe was like. Yo, every Puerto Rican understands that they are black, right? I was like, that changed my perspective because Fat Joe was owning blackness, right? And I was like, he wasn't saying like, oh no, I said, wait a minute. It's not wrong if he says, I am black. I come from black descent. He's not wrong for saying that. Every Puerto Rican is black is bullshit. Wait, wait, wait. That's that's the part I was saying. Regardless, regardless of that, I'm not in that culture. So if Fat Joe says, and that's what he believes, that's more than fine. He identifies as black. Which is fine because he probably does have black in his whether if it's African descent, he probably look at Fat Joe. He got black in his DNA. He so probably, so yeah, I go like, and he's owning it. I go like that. The though. problem is when people go huh? like, "Oh, DJ I'm not Cali. black," but you still say nigga oh, or something DJ like Cali. that. I'm not. I'm not with it. I gotta so, see. You. I gotta so check his why, ancestry. Why are we allowing Drake to say it, but also we ain't Drake allowing what? But no, no, no. I got you. But everybody's getting pissed off at uh, logic. Who? Who? Logic. Logic. Logic kind of black. black, ain't he? Yeah. Logic can say it. People was he looked like right. he said they the N-word. His ass and he up. waited he three was. albums at that. He didn't say it his first two albums at all. Yeah. But <laughs> they, they was it, I was like, oh, this white boy, I'm looking for his the name. dad wasn't black enough for him to be saying it. Hey, wait, what is that? I never seen his picture of his dad. Dad. He didn't know he didn't even know his dad like that. That was one of the things. He, if you listen to his albums, I listen to mm. Logic uh the first the first couple mixtapes. Oh, he always talked about how he grew up without his pops. Yeah, yeah, grew up without his dad or whatever, and his mom would call him the hard R and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So, so is his dad mixed? No, or is he actually I don't think so. Black. His dad's his dad, black. Right? His dad's black. So if, he's if reconnected. Both, so if him. both of your parents are mixed, that make you. That, that would be like no. Does, does the one no. percent rule count? There used to be a thing if you were one percent. One drop rule is a terrible thing anyway. It doesn't count though. Are you black? I mean, at least one percent. Right now, we're gonna. There's no. There's no answer to these questions. You know. He's black to me. His, no his dad is black. <laughs> you saying this because this conversation is just so subjective because it's just like who, like then we're talking about like what is blackness? Can Can you know? the Rock say it? Are you asking me? Rock, I don't. His dad looked black. The Rock I don't know. Black. I mean, was black. But yeah. would it be weird if, when you hear him say it? It'd be crazy. It's not like, what I'm cooking, nigga. It would be weird to hear him say it because he's not who he is. Yeah, he's he's not, not, that, yeah. I feel like that's what it, it would like. Be he's forced. Like him. you could kind of tell somebody's forcing it. That's how I feel about Kev on stage. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, what? Go on. Why? Why? Wait, say the N word? Are you sure you want to say that in this space? I mean, when I hear that, I'm like, I feel like he needs a little practice on, on the word nigga. <laughs> on the word nigga? He yeah, says Kev? that. I know, he, I know he uses it. Kev like, uses it profusely. I know he uses it, but I was like, I was like, it feels kind of out of shape. <laughs> it, it feels, I'm not, I'm not. Kev on nigga, I can't agree with, but when he cuss, I'll be like, oh shit, that's when it's jarring. Yeah, it's really, when he, cuss, yeah, when he cusses, it's yeah, very jarring. Yeah, he cuss, it always yeah. throws me off. I'm it's like, very oh, jarring. Kev, <laughs> Kev is cussing. That's what I about Mariah But the Kev. nigga, nigga coming from Kev, it don't. I know, I never me. noticed it when he He's did. halfway convinced me but to start the, saying it again because he says it so damn I, much. I text you that. Yeah. Like, I was like, <laughs> like I, didn't, I, didn't say this, I didn't say nigga for a long time. I don't hear Kev right. saying it like that. I okay. didn't say it for a really long I don't time. I'll like, be hearing it like yeah. that. He even. says it quite about quite a bit around me, apparently, because when he's around, like we like especially when we're filming, like he says it on uh, workplace comedy all the time. Yeah, Does yeah. it? Yeah. Yes. And it's, it's, that lets you know it, it doesn't fail. Yeah, yeah. When you called it. me a nigga, I was like, you sound like you've been hanging around Kev on stage too much. Yeah, well, the, <laughs> you did say that. <laughs> didn't you? Yeah, you did say it when it, I said it that. Tony called the nigga. No, no, mine look, mine was out of shape. I own that. They vouching for it in the chat. For me? Nah, they saying Kev say nigga Kev's, a lot. He says yeah. a lot. He does I, say I, a lot. I didn't say he doesn't. No, but I'm saying it. Kev like Brennan, Brennan doesn't drop a soft. Brennan says nigga okay. 
Yeah, I mean, I do now, but I'm saying like... <laughs> I had, had to practice. learn how to... No, I didn't say... <laughs> this you had to I said it. You took it. I said it a lot in high school. I said it a lot in high school. I said a lot in high school, and then I met like a like I was like in the, the like the association of black students, and then it was just like all about like consciousness and being woke, and it's like this brother gave this crazy speech yeah. about like you know lemons lemonade roots of evil all this kind of shit, and I was like mm. you right, you know what I'm saying? I was like all right, I'm in, and I didn't say the n word again for like the n word ten years. The n word, <laughs> you know, I didn't say it for like ten years, yeah, yeah, and yeah. The people around me saying it, whatever. You, I, would, yeah, I, would, yeah. I would even ask people not to call me that, but then I started hanging around. Oh, you was one of those. That's and what happens, bro. You know, just, on me. Yeah, yeah. All you got because y'all was fucking. Y'all make it so. Funny, yes. You, you don't do. say it crazy though. You yeah, be yeah. saying it sometimes. But I'm saying it's like they made it so this. funny. Yeah. Like I'm around all these comedians that there's use levels. it like on the level that was so funny that I just like I can't not do it. Yeah, this I punchline y'all with it. These Man. two niggas watch anime. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even though it's not an ER, it's a difference between an A and a UH. It's like a nigga. nigga. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Like that. I heard that. Like, ugh. Like nigga. Or it's like this, this nigga. Like you only you don't hear my uh this nigga. I, I would love for Kev to be able to re respond to like how you feel about it. Yeah, I've never heard. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I, I'm, it sounds I'm the gonna, same to me. Like Amir, I'd like that clip of Dion as well, please. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> oh, this, this Dion last time like in the damn studio. I don't know, right? Dion, it's gonna be a sign. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a sign with a picture. Right. Yeah, it's his before and after see, picture. Neither one of these niggas can get in. This niggas wanted. Don't let him in here. I want to say I want to see this. See, look at look. Lack of speaking straight facts. See what I'm saying? Y'all uncomfortable too. One person said that. Come Come on, on, man. Yeah, they, they, they agree with him early on, though. That's what I'm saying. Oh, they agree with Dion early about how much or how about Kev, how much? No, they agree Kev with that Kev says. No, they agree with that he says a lot. They didn't yeah. say Dion yeah. said yeah, he I shouldn't say the way he says it. it. it, it just, the way it he just says sounds it. like yeah. Yeah, it yeah, felt like he it got unlocked. He's like, I get to use it now. No, when when no the thing is the thing is when Kev Kev the most authentic nigga you're gonna get from Kev is when he's like upset. It sounds natural. I heard that from Brennan. I heard what? It, 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 it felt weird, right? It felt That's weird. I heard it. I felt that. <laughs> I heard it. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. It was, it was from fresh out of the box. Wait, wait, wait. But, but it was different right now. You, you, you wasn't that time you said it, it definitely had more emphasis That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Like, wait, wait, you got it. Because the way he was actually using it, he wasn't saying nigga casually. I wasn't saying nigga. I was using it in a sentence. He was using it in quotes when I was talking about Kev saying that word. Oh, okay. It wasn't different. I was like, nigga. I was like, yo. They said they did not agree with you. They were literally saying that. Not just to be clear. You. Well, they don't agree with you. Some do, some don't. They agree with it you. It was supposed to sound weird, Mo Yo. It. But either way, my point being is when Kev is like disappointed or like surprised by something, that's when it's like purely authentic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or upset. When Kev's upset, you know what I'm saying? Cuss it or like when yeah. you say it like that, that's when you're just like, all right, yeah, you, you do this. You know, like there's you no, say, there's you, no do this. <laughs> you do this. You do this. Oh, yeah. And Kev don't be cussing. He's no Sinbad. He just cuss in text. With me. Very oh, much yeah. so. That's how he cusses just in text. In text. Yeah. yeah. That's what yeah, I'm talking about. Can you don't verbally hear it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've heard him cuss like in person like once or twice. They said, ain't nobody yeah. in this chat agreed with Dion. Come on. Who said that, <laughs> man? Right Let there. me leave. Dion be fudging the numbers, man. Just, just, oh, come on. Come on. Said, <laughs> you can't trust nothing Dion say. <laughs> I didn't know DJ Khaled said nigga. Yeah. yeah, I'm a little disappointed by that right now. I'm like, I don't. Fat think, Joe, man, I already knew. Have you ever been in a situation where somebody says it and you don't know how to react? In Khaled? <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, I've been like, because it's like, yeah, yeah. somebody's like a dark skinned Asian person will say yeah. it or something like that. And they'd be mm -hmm. like, yo, what's up, nigga? And you'd be like, yeah. Uh, yeah let, me, let me check your ancestry, dog. Yeah, we were yeah, at yeah. a party, me and yo were at a Christmas party once. And it was like, you know, her friends were mostly Latina down there, right? And so this one, there, you know, there was some other cats. And I can't tell you what this dude was, really. I knew he wasn't black. Whatever he was, it was not black. And nobody, so he kept saying nigga around me. He was like, yeah, hey, something, something, nigga, something, something, something. And then I could see his homies. His homies was like, hey, he's drunk, man, blah, blah, blah. Because mm -hmm. you saw my whole demeanor. Right. Right. It changes. Your demeanor right. changes. Christmas like, party. Right, right. right. And, at, and the first one, I let go. Yeah. That mm -hmm. first clear nigga, I was like. You had a, you had a Christmas sweater on? <laughs> no, I don't, you know. Okay. You know he like, I, I can I say was, it in front of this nigga. I was probably. <laughs> Dressed like this or something like that, you know what we are. But uh, yeah, so so then like, cause yo saw my face also after yeah. like the second one. I was like, hey yo, somebody get your guy, yeah, right, right. And then I was like, hey yo, we should just leave, yo, because my mood is gonna get violent. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not even the. Are, the, you, are the, you a confrontation person? That I'm, and I'm not. Right. And when so that's he go, the thing. When he but he goes, ready, when, though, and that's yeah. the thing. I and, I, and I know my triggers, and right. I know like I don't want to fight ready. Chaz. Oh, I'm Chaz getting, I'm getting I would hot. never fight Chaz. And I was like, I'm getting hot in this and situation. Would you walk away? Or would you pull him to the side? I'm like, hey man. But he's what drunk. You doing? No, it's he's one, drunk. And one thing he was drunk, drunk and no. I didn't know him. I don't like drunk people. No, it's a I'm gonna tell you like this: when the N word is dropped by, and it's a numbers game. 
you have to look at am I outnumbered. <laughs> <laughs> no, so it's funny I you say that. I have this it's private really combo. So listen, like, with, I, I have with, a great with, inward story for you guys. They're, they're I was, well, I'm sorry. It's they're, a numbers game, bro. But you look, look, look yo, yo's friends, they all have master degrees. They're all, they're all, they're all professional they're people. High society. High society. Mm -hmm. no, Pinky up. Right? Well, Which is why I appreciate well. them because you don't get to see a lot of, the, the never, you never see the Mexicans, Latinos portrayed with master degrees and bachelor degrees, right? You don't see that side. Mm -hmm. see oh, so he side. was just the thug of the party. I don't think he was even a thug of the no, group. No, I'm saying of the party. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. much more than me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so I was like, I get me being wild. I'm saying yeah, this yeah, I'm you, yeah. I look like that. Yeah. I was like, hey, man, it's not about to be, you about to get some whole holes in your ass, bro. Yeah. Like, what are we talking about right pause. now? It was too many. No pause. That I'm was... talking about that real shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, All yeah. right. Uh, yeah, I, I, was like, I was like, nah, bro, it was, uh, it was tense. So, you know, my wife is just like, let's just go. Because, you know. Yeah, I was yeah, already. That was probably the best choice. I was mm -hmm. already like, yeah. oh, shit, one more goddamn time. Let's throw him through this table, bro. I mean, it was a nice table spread. I was but was he great. using it loosely or was he talking uh, about niggas? <laughs> Yo, Sam, what he saying? He don't even. <laughs> No, no, it's, don't even matter. There's, there's a difference if he's just like, man, didn't say it. And he was like, this nigga was like, but he wasn't like, even talking to me sometimes. He was just saying, saying it. That nigga right there. Well, I was like, I, know, man, I gotta either break his jaw or get out of here. There's yeah, two options. You. Yeah, I feel you. We're two options at yeah. that point. <laughs> I gotta stop just him saying it. Yeah, just leave. I, I, we had this on our podcast. I said, if a line of white people has said nigga to your face, how, how many white people would you knock out until you say, all right, y'all, y'all. Y'all persistent. <laughs> he was like, all of them. I said, dude, if it's a you lot of Chaz? white people yeah. saying, nigga, knock out. Bro, hey, I, Chaz, have, nigga. I have a friend who I've had since I was 12, right? Never once uttered the N-word. That's beautiful. So I know it's a choice, mm -hmm. right? It wasn't, we were listening to the same music, always never, he never said it, mm -hmm. right? Not, not a single time. I've seen him fight people for saying it for me. Mm -hmm. It's a hundred percent a choice. Once I saw that, there's no excuse, bro. You want to say this shit because you want to, not because you're in a culture, not because you you're, you want you think to. It's so, cool. Let me let me let me Literally. give you the, the perspective that I had because I had a really unique experience. Mm -hmm. We were traveling and we were shooting with like uh, for you know the company, and we were at a restaurant and we were at a uh, a pub in Austria, and fancy, part fancy. of the team, part of the group that we were filming, <laughs> part of the group that we were filming with was uh, this like group of people from Taiwan. And there was like a guy who was younger who has been super nice and smiley towards me specifically mm -hmm. the whole time, you know. And so I was like, whatever. Like I was sitting down, he came and sat across from me, and he was just talking to me, blah blah blah, and, you know. And he was just he's being super like asking me questions, and it was just like, all right, cool. Like he's really excited to meet me for some reason. I I didn't really understand it, you know. And he's like, you know, I, I love niggas. Oh, you know? that's you know? so Ooh. specific. Yeah, he said he's like, I love niggas. <laughs> and he's like, because Tony Valentino was with me, oh, and he was just like, he immediately ah. Tony was just like, oh ah. boy, you know, like the whole like everybody around knew what he did. He had no idea. He's like grinning and looking at me, like you know, he wants me to accept him, you know. So I just, like I had to like I was like, hey man, so let me let me you know like I, I had you to pull the only nigga. I mean, I'm the only black that. person. Only black person. I was the only black person in the entire. Cause you got think first. You got black. Okay, hold on. There was a lot of people there. Crazy, from. Bro. I'm in Austria. You know what I'm saying? So like, oh, yeah, I'm big on intent. So no, his intent was to like he wanted to be right. like you know like be a friend, be my friend. And so I told him I was like, hey, by the way, that's not you know I explained it to him. Right. And this guy like like literally cried, put his forehead on the ground and was wow. bowing to me. Yeah. And, which, and then it became so... Oh, he just so, didn't know. He, he, he didn't know. No. He had yeah, no he idea. Because no. I was yeah. like, hey, let me... You know, I broke it down. He yeah. said, wait, really? And as soon as it clicked to him that he understood what was right. going on, his, the amount of remorse that he had wow. made me so uncomfortable mm. because all he wanted was my acceptance. I was... I didn't... He, but I was like, all right, stop crying. You can say, nigga. Go no, ahead. I was the first <laughs> black out. person he'd ever met in his life. Wow. wow. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't know that. You know, afterwards he told me, you're the first black person. He's like, I thought that was a slang I thought that's what you wanted to be called like that's mm -hmm. what I hear you guys calling each other. Wow. So I thought this is what you wanted. Uh, that's, you know, that's some dangerous territory to tread into. Wow. Yeah, Even but though, how would he know? He, he, you know, it, his ignorance is definitely. But it, like I said, it's dangerous territory it, to run into. But it's understandable if you're like English is your second language. The only thing you know of Black culture is what you is love what is you your hip hop wow. culture. Yeah. You see this as like just yeah. regular we conversation. Be nigging we nigging yeah, it up. Yeah, it's like part yeah. of it. It's like how can you like how can I fault you for that? Like I can be like I can educate you now. After that, it's a problem. But up until the point where you've yeah. never even met a black person before, how the uh, hell would you I know? I would have hit every it's single white person in Austria. It's not like every it's until like, Arnold came up. <laughs> but I'm just saying, it's not like you every time it, yeah. there's like a show with black people on saying that, like there's a disclaimer at the end, like this is only for black people how they talk about. It. Like if yeah. you don't know mm -hmm. culturally, it's like these things that nobody actually talks about. Right. Yeah, so right. if you don't know, how would you know? Wow. They don't go. They don't have not, that in I their school. Fair. Education culturally, only. that is a thing of across all. Groups of people. They all right. have their own words yeah, exactly. and stuff like that. But it's like everybody want to co-op our shit. 
You know, some, wild. somebody says something right there. It's a history book. They should what know. What history books? But, but that's what the thing is. They, why, well, that's why, a good should, point. why should we study someone else's history? Like, do you know that I don't there's know a about Austria's history? But do you no, know, know there's so a Martin Luther King Austria, and, 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 and he's from Austria? Taiwan visiting? Oh, I'm sure there is, right? I'm you sure there is. Yeah, no you way. can Google it. <clears throat> like, 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 they, do they know who Harriet Tubman is in Austria? Oh, yeah. Probably saying? not. Yeah, they, so like, saying, so, yeah. So they, we, they got different histories. They got they got a whole different like black. Well, not black history. Coming from an international perspective, it's this more could totally happen. Like yeah, people mm-hmm. can really. They ain't ignorant. never seen a black. Could, yeah, this, this right. could totally be. You know, bro. When you start traveling, like yeah, you're really, when I was yeah. in northern mm-hmm. Vietnam, like an entire bus of Chinese tourists, like stopped in the middle I'll of the road, backed up, came to the parking lot I was in. They all got out and took pictures with me. Like because I was the first black person they that's had ever wild. seen. That's, you, you, I see you, so many. You, 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 no I, so I was so uncomfortable. Yeah. I didn't know what was yeah, going yeah, on. Do the robot play basketball? No, they were because I couldn't understand robot. it. They didn't speak. Oh, yeah, none when, of them spoke any English. When I was in the Philippines with my dad, they mm-hmm. thought I was an NBA. Yeah, you, 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 I'm I talking, thought I was signing autographs. I swear, signing autographs, yearbooks. I'm signing them. Like I just went with it. Yeah. Did you Did you charge them? No. It gets to the point where it's invasive, though, Loki. Now, I mean, some, I did, some of the stuff me, I've seen, like with the girls, like the women that go out there, they, yeah. they, they touching be, their hair and stuff. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't have that problem. But, obviously, it, but. You, can you, should you be upset if that's what I mean, they you do? Boundaries, at least. Like, hey, 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 get, get off me! They, what the is thing, wrong the, with the wild part about it, just I mean, like the, in the movies. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> now, he, he's always angry, just yeah, like the always movies. Angry. No, he's the doing... wild part is like the the genuine like excitedness that they bring to the table. Like they're genuinely like humbly excited to meet you. They're just like, oh my god, oh my god, and it's just like, and you're. You're just like, what the hell's going on? Because they don't speak any English. Wow. So they're just like, blah, 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 blah. You're just like, huh? And they're like, they stand next to you and do this. And you're like, what? And then it's like, flash. You're like, oh, we're We're taking pictures, you know? But they have no way of even saying it or talking Mm. to you. So it's like, what do you do? You know, it's like, is it invasive? Is it whatever? It's like, they just got excited. And I'm just like, all right, whatever. They got excited, but it still is invasive. Like, no way of trying to because we just to don't communicate. We just, just literally just come like in, that just in smack States. and just we be don't, like, don't touch. Boom. The There's a whole bus row, for, uh, like a whole bus full of people that have pictures with me that I have no idea who they are, no idea where those I'll pictures are. I'll be fucking are. with folks because somebody, dude, I'm taking off running just to just what? just just cause. Y'all going hey, y'all chase me, bro. This is about to be fun. Like, we're gonna wind up in a Chinese prison somewhere, <laughs> fucking around. They have no reason. Yeah, like, why. When you're overseas, you're a lot less bold than you think you are. Yeah. I'll oh, tell you that. I'm the, when you're I'm the a, only, I'm a great Samaritan overseas. Bro, when I'm overseas, I'm gonna be locked in a cell. Oh, I gotta get some answers. I got accused of stealing in Austria. Oh, you tripping? Like there was, I was literally why like stealing on your day off. I literally <laughs> walked into it. Like walked it. There's an outside space. They had hats. Walked it out there, and I had a hat on. And like there was a guy in a window across the street. Literally, he just started yelling. That guy stole a hat. That dude in right there language. stole a hat. Wow. No, in English. Wow. Oh, hey. Yeah, in Austria, like he <laughs> started like, doing that. Lamelo Ball, like oh, his the, brother, the middle ball, Angelo, whatever. In wait, wait, wait. How? What happened? I mean, the store a person, like the person, like the store owner, like came out. It was just like what? And then I was just like, this guy. The guy kept yelling. I watched him. He just put it in his pocket. I was like, there's nothing. Were you like a homeless person? It was my hat. I took my hat off my head and put it in my pocket. No, he's a guy who owned, like, he was oh. up in a, an apartment complex. It was, like, across the street, like, on the second floor. And he was, like, looking out the window, like, apparently watching me because I was the black dude who pulled up. Yeah, you were. Oh, you know? Wow. And so, like, he saw me put a hat in my my thing, but it was my hat. Yeah. And then so, like, the owner was just like, what's going on? Like, I was just like, I don't know. I know the you guy stayed calm I, as hell. Yeah, huh? I was like, I don't know. The guy thinks I stole this hat. It's like, this is my hat. He's like, I don't sell this hat. I was like, <laughs> I was like, exactly. And the guy kept yelling, no, you got to watch him, da, 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 da. And he was like, yeah. the owner was hella embarrassed. He's yeah. like, I'm really sorry, man. Like, there's, there's some, he's like, he, and, you know, paraphrasing, he was pretty much like, "There's some ignorance out here." Like, I don't yeah. have to tell you. Oh damn! You know, and bro. Tony was with me too, and Tony was just like, you know, my favorite. Actually, when racist yeah. stuff happens, and I'm next Tony's to Tony Valentino, yeah. yeah. First of all, he's always in LA. He's always down to do it. Um, but like, he gets hella uncomfortable because he's like, you yeah. know, Tony wants to kill somebody. Yeah. You know, when something like that happens. Yeah. You know, but also it's just like Tony he, knows you. And he's like, <coughs> this is my friend. Yeah, Brent it's like Brent ain't gonna like. Yeah. You know, but it also he knows I'm gonna be bringing it back up everywhere else we go. Yeah. It's like, yeah, they probably racist here, and he's like, Brent, they're not being racist. Like you said that, and they accuse me. So he hates it when it happens because he's, he's just like, like, he's like, I can't say shit like, to you no more. He just want to assume that people aren't gonna be like. That. Yeah, he's like, man, Brent, you always thinking everything's yeah, racist. I'm just you, like, yeah, 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 I've been black a long time, bro. I'm yeah, trying to tell you. He's like, Brent, you're from Grand Blank. You don't know. I'm like, you don't speak to me. I will fight you. You know, like we don't do that. So once you get that taste. Once you feel it, you'd be like, ah, here it goes again. Yeah, you just know it's a vibe. You yeah, go right. somewhere, you just like you can feel if it. You've grown up with it, then you know yeah. where it is. The people think you're just being you'd be fucking... tired. You'd be like, oh yeah, this is this. Oh, you're being racist, huh? All right. Mm-hmm. All right, excuse me. Yeah. You just gotta excuse me. I want to see Tony me.
all oh, right. <laughs> and, and they all talking about, we got to kill these niggas out here. He, what he be like? I think he would hey, be quiet. God. He would be quiet. <laughs> Well, I'm just saying, cause, but I think I think Tony would play. I think I honestly say I think Tony would be quiet because I think Tony would take the smartest route. Yeah. What he would do is like take all the information they said and like don't whatever they think they're him. gonna do it. And he's just like, and he's just what, like, what he, and we bring early, it and give it to all the black game. people. Yeah. You know, he was just like, all right, cool. What are you guys? Gonna, where are you gonna be crazy? Yeah, I'll be there. Sure, sure, mm-hmm. sure. Like, oh, what kind of weapons? Oh, you're gonna be using those crazy. And then he'll just go right. What to type the, of weapons? He'll go right to the police. You know, like yeah. I think oh. Tony would do something to like end the whole thing instead of making a grandstand so they don't tell him anything anymore. Speak, I, speaking of this is this is a bandwagon of what you said. What is the definition of mass mass shooting? Four four people have to be killed. You know. Yeah, I thought four, it was that's what I read. I, think I thought it was, it was, it was more. One, one, one or two. I read, I I read two it was four people had to be shot or killed. One of the two. Either it had to be shot. I think. So when people like say you looking up, so when, when people say mass shooting and it, the amount of mass shooting has been in in the United States, I found out that if it's just two people beefing and they shooting at each other, that's considered a mass shooting. Yeah, we got into that on the CP podcast before about like gang <laughs> gang. Uh, yeah, gang, violent, gang right, violence, gang stuff, violence like, is considered mass shooting. Is it considered mass shooting? Mass I was like, people well, are the, getting shot. Yeah, the the difference with Isn't that. Was, when I said the, exactly, it's the, the intent, intent behind it's it. It's the intent, but still, that's, mass that's, people getting shot. I'm not saying that it's right. not yeah, that. I'm just saying the intent is totally different. Yeah, yeah. the intent is when you're when you're dealing with you're going in, into innocent people who have but nothing to do with anything. Sometimes innocent people do get hit. That is just the the circumstance of what it was. I didn't. The person going up there didn't have the intent to go and actually yeah. shoot those right. people. But that's Three also considered we had 400 mass shootings in the United States. I'm like, how is this possible? So when you start to break down these mass shootings, this is considered gang violence is considered mass shooting. Are you be. trying to say we don't have a mass shooting problem? We do. <laughs> but I was like, there's no way we had yeah, like they, five. Well, not every, but not every shooting is going to be the biggest school issue is, you know, or right. whatever. The biggest yeah, issue I is that there's no everything. there's no federal uh, statute of like statistics that like actually keeps record of this. Like this is people just going to the different states and saying what? How do the states count it? Like there isn't like a uniform way of right. doing it, which has been purposeful. You know, this is something like by the gun lobbyists have purposely done their best to keep it so that police stations and federal agencies do not have coherent statistics for mass shootings and things like that because it makes it harder to make the argument against gun control. Mm-hmm. So this is like a on purpose thing that it's like muddied like that. Like what is a mass shooting like? Because it's like you would think we would have a direct definition that everything falls under it, right. and because of how big of a problem it is, you think that the federal government would keep statistics that allows us to know how we're doing in right. regards to last year or 10 years ago or anything like that, but they don't do that because it's just there's no standardized way of doing it. They, so they like, are, like you can see, like I'm just saying, like if you go and look right now, how many mass shootings were in 2020, 2017, right? You'll find three different sources that have relatively different, different numbers. numbers. And there's not a uniform number, which is like, it was 2010. You know what I'm saying? Mass shootings. Like, well, actually... I mean, they're, they're thinking too heavy on it. It's common sense, bro. You it's go not, and though. shoot no, a it, grocery it's, store it's, up. But he's saying it's, it's, it's set up that way. It's designed It's designed to be... Oh, to make not, it look like there's not that many happening? No, no it's so that we just can't, can't... You can't land on solid foundation in order to have, a, like, information to go and can't. present it. Because there's no way to go if you don't have a there's no definite there's no the clear definition. definition. But it's like right now, like you're saying a mass shooting is something different than what Dion is saying. So then you guys would count how many mass shootings we have differently. You would have and different when you numbers. present that information to someone, somebody can say, well, where did you? What is your source? You know, like you're saying these numbers, but he's saying a different number, and there's another source over here. Why are we even worried about this? We don't even have any real yeah, information. That's, all, on that's it. just that's just smoke. smoke but it is. But that's bro. what politi- that's, that's how politics that's works. Politics, yeah, politics, yeah, politics yeah, is that's like just... that's how nothing gets done because they mm-hmm. can keep arguing about things that don't matter because they've made it so that there's no direct yeah, statistical just, yeah. scientific way to point at it. Well, that's just that. That means they just you know keep these. They're not going to put these gun laws. Well, the NRA, Hell, right? NRA yeah. is paying shit. paying politicians a lot of money. And would you take that pay cut? If you was MRA, I mean, I don't know. Their, Take what their, pay, pay M- cut? Because they're getting paid. MRA or NRA? NR, NR. I'm sorry, NRA. <laughs> I was like, what the hell yeah, is MRA? Yeah, <laughs> my homeboy, yeah, yeah, Kyle Irving, he really does MRA. have a hard time with the, the talking. Yeah, oh, you'd be fumbling. fumbling. No, Man. my homeboy has Bob a middle rights activist. Uh, MRA. A middle rights activist. NRA. N. No, no, no. My homeboy, Kyle Irving, has a podcast called MRA, and I was thinking about that. Middle but that's not what activist. you meant to say, though. Uh, you're right. So then you're, <laughs> so just own your L, Dion. I did. I said so would you like if by, by any chance like you know your salary cap was I mean, your salary was getting uh, chopped seventy five percent? Okay, would you be like, damn it, let me go ahead, or would you still fight for it? I know, it's, I know, it's the nice thing to say is like, what, what do you mean? Why is my salary getting chopped? If if they the, like it, take decide to take the guns away or whatever, it's like, oh, you, I would you, just you go ain't to gonna a, fight with us? Okay, we're gonna take our seventy five dollars to your dollar. If, if you're, well, the if thing, you're, thing is, that I would just go to a different. If I like, yeah, if I'm a politician, so if I'm a politician. Um, I'm going to do my best to be beholden to the ones who actually elected me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like the people, like what's best for the people? Like I saw John Stewart did an interview uh, this morning 
where you see that where he was talking to a Republican lawmaker who was saying that you know going against like the the, the trans. Uh, not even the trans, just that the, the uh, what do they call it? It's not trans, because she wasn't, I mean, they weren't trans, I don't believe. It was just a, uh, what's it called, when the men dress up like women? Oh, cross dress. Cross dress. Yeah, it's cross dress, but what's the... Uh, so many different terms. No, it's like when they perform. I don't want to get in trouble. Oh. Drag. Drag. So it was a drag yeah. performer. Mm -hmm. So they're like, they're saying... Reading like, the kids. So yeah, there's a drag <laughs> performer reading to kids, and this guy's like putting, like going hard on legislation saying drag performers should not be allowed to do that. And John Stewart's like, why? He's like, we well, have to protect the kids. He's like, protect, interesting, because what is the leading cause yeah, of John, death? John Stewart. Wow. De he death and children. He, ain't a, he went hard. He's yeah. like, what's the leading cause of death? Love for it. these children. He's like, it's not cancer. He's like, it's not car accidents. He's like, it's not it's guns. It's, it's not people reading it is drag. Absolutely, yeah. It's like it's not drag. And he said it's not the some ambiguous idea of somebody reading in drag. It's not what hurts them. If you want to protect the kids, then you need to, you know, do some kind of gun control. And you know, honestly, this is the highest what level of hypocrisy. Say? I, he didn't say shit. You know, he, he, did he just sat there around on the questions and they oh, kind of wow. try to sit in there yeah. like, well, I I it's not that you I know, don't I'm not I don't with you, agree, but I just think there's a there's a way to do it, you know. It's like, no, there's a way to just say there should be an assault weapons ban. It was ridiculous. Yeah, he ate him alive. But it's like it's like there, there should just be an assault weapon ban. Like most people who right. have common sense should know there's no reason any regular person should have an assault weapon. But see, and then that gets muddled because I have an assault rifle. But for what? What, what? Exactly right. But why? But but really, but really, it's a hunting rifle. But the name assault rifle sells. Hunting, how many Jess? bullets does a deer need? What? It, 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 it depends on how many shots you have. I don't know. <laughs> what are you, what are you, no, what I'm you? just saying like this, like a rifle to like you know single shot or you know double shot rifle. That's different than a, than like something that you hold like you know what I'm saying that like, like you hold like holding like this. Hey, let's get versus, to the like, this. Chaz, why do you, you have yeah, why, why do you, you have assault, assault rifles? They're fun to shoot. Assault rifles. But that's Just what I'm saying. That's but like, not great. Would man. you give up? I, I have them because they're fun to shoot. But would you give? That's but that's actually. What are y'all talking about? Right assault now? rifles. Where you been, Tony? I know. Where you been? Where you been? Where you been? You been sitting in the room talking about? Ask us with attitude. What are you talking about? I'm like we walked into this conversation. Should there be an assault rifle? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh yes, should there should definitely. You didn't have to say that. You could just, yeah. just tell yeah. it. I, like, I agree. There should be so way. Would, would you, if you, if that law came, would you give up your assault rifle? I'm not anti-gun at all. Yes or no? Would I give up my assault? If the, if there was a law that said I had to give up my rifle, mm -hmm. I would. They're doing a buyback program, and they're also not selling them anymore. They're saying, hey. You know, like we, you know, if it in, was in illegal ten years, in ten years, these will be illegal. Then I would have it until nine three sixty four. <laughs> you know what I mean? I would have my gun that I'm legally allowed to have. Why, man? Why? Because I like I, to go I know shoot. You it. bought it, but why do you need to shoot a deer 137 times? I'm not going hunt. I go to the store for me. I like shooting a gun at the range. It's fun. I like shooting a gun. So, at but the that's range. the thing. That's the argument most people, people make. Like, it's like it's my wild. right as an American to bear arms, and it, it just it, really makes me feel. It's even a right thing. I go and, like, but people oh, are dead, and that's for me. It's like how many children are dead because people want to have fun. You can save kids, bro. I save a child every day if I'm not going to some school because I'm not some psycho. The, be right. the best way to handle this is with Chris I'm Rock not said. mentally deranged. I'm not a psycho. Five hundred dollars a bullet. Yeah, man, increase the price of bullets. Niggas be like, I am not. I don't. I can't afford it. Just how much you it. really love. Yeah. Yeah. There, sh there should I be way more. So I, you really love I agree with there's, all there's the background be checks. More I don't understand why there aren't. Way more mental health background checks. Why there aren't way man, more criminal on, checks. There aren't, aren't any in I'm place. Very you know, I remember, sane. I, if you push me the wrong way, I can just kill you. I remember to, this. Ain't got nothing to do with Dino, it. you can get a knife and stab me right now. Right. But, but the thing is, you could stab one person with a knife, then somebody else is going to stop you. With an assault <laughs> rifle, <laughs> with assault rifle, you could take out a whole you building of people, no sure. problem. I, I'm not I'm not saying, I said, said I go to the range to shoot because I, I find it fun. I, right? let's put this way, I couldn't believe how easy it is to buy an assault rifle. I went, when I lived in Michigan, went to a literal like Walmart. Very easy there. And bought an AK 47. Like all all they did the only background check they did was like I don't know what it was. They're like, uh, give us your information. You fill out a form, and they just made one call. And there's like, all right, cool, it's more we'll, of a process. Give in California, you, give it to you right now. Sure. It's, it's like that. On, and I had an AK-47. It's like if you can pay for it, you got it. And it's just like, all right, cool. Can I buy bullets? Like, you can't buy bullets today. So then I just went next door. You know, I just went to the next place. Like, hey, I'd like to buy some assault. You know, went to another you know Walmart the same day, and they gave me as many bullets as I wanted. Yeah, so I was like, if I was really wild. angry, Florida I could has have a, literally you could just have a gun. You don't have to permit Texas or nothing. Too. You just get it. Yeah, yeah Texas, Texas too. It's just like Georgia's open carry. I've seen people in the store with a fucking AR on their back for whatever reason. Now, I don't now fucking California know. has it where they stamp your bullets, right? So if I wanted to go on a, sh uh, a shooting spree with my own bullets, they could find me and be like, we so trace your you didn't already kill the. But yeah, that's, yeah, to me, that's, that's the. Yeah, that's that's the that's but, it. but what happens is that how many killers are loose because people use throwaways, right? So it's it's one thing. Is it the answer? But mass killers almost never never get almost. Never get away. They don't care of about killing. You imagine the goal is but to, the point is that's when you're talking about killers. Like die. normally those are intent for like an individual. I, I wish and hope they do way more background checks. I'm what? not mad at them doing. Do you think? What? I'm saying. Do you agree that check? you think there should be an assault weapon ban? Yes or no? I do not think so. If there was, I'm not going to fight it. I'm not going to go protest. I go like, cool, because but we've else, seen but, that there's an irrespon
I understand. I'm not. I'm not like. No, oh, this is my right. I go but, like. That but makes but I'm saying. Sense. But then that means you should agree that there should be one that we shouldn't like. Regular civilians should not have assault weapons. Like it's like there's no reason for that. A deranged civilian should not. None of them should I, have them. I, because a deranged civilian can get it from somebody they, who's yeah, regular. They, gotta, they can have access. Like uh, my dad's is legal. Like he's sane and he has his gun closet over here that I just broke into to take his sure. assault weapons and now I can destroy everybody. But there was no somebody assault mentally in the first place. sane can also end up have developing something yeah. over time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sure. And somebody there, said and there so you be, can call it inward enough time. And there should spare. be right. <laughs> well, I like I like feeling the crunch of somebody's uh, bones you under my that, fist. You at that party? So I would use one more in bar. I'm way more fist on face ass. than anything. I like to hear his bones break, his cheekbones shatter. Yeah. I want to hear that. You know what I mean? I think there should be a ban. I think Thank there you, should be man. a lot of I think things. there should be a ban too. I, should, sure. should be I a think lot that's of the things. easiest, quickest way. Yeah. Like they do a buyback program and a ban and then have like a, a deadline of when they're going to say these are actually I, I think it should be the same kind of evaluations you do yearly that you have to do for anything else that we do for our car registration. I think there should be a lot of things. If you really want, Japan has a really tough way to go get a gun. Yeah, like it's, it's almost impossible. It's almost Japan. impossible. I was like, there should be way more steps in order to do that. They will never do that here because of the There's already of hundreds of thousands of guns already in people's hands. It's, it's, it's just the it's, people. It's, it's that too. Yeah. Well, that, the I people, mean, the is, the it's, people it's, is already it's out there. Around and, for so many years, bro. But the thing is, like, you have you gotta, the thing is, you have to like t turn off the faucet at some point. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like you turn off the faucet now, you come back, you know what I'm saying? You start buying back guns like over the time, over the you next 20, it? 30 years, oh, sure. then you'll yeah. be able to have, you'll be able to hook it up. Mm -hmm. so, you wrap it up anyway. Yeah, we should probably do that. All that DC, where you at? Uh, Cleveland. Cleveland Improv this weekend. Out there. Oh, and shout out to everybody in the Bay Area that came to Alameda Comic hey, Club, man. Y'all yeah, was, 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 was a good, y'all was a good, yeah. Darn time! I appreciate y'all coming out. Shut up, Sabrina. Good show. Mm -hmm. We had it was a it was a couple. We had a lot of daddy issue people that came yeah. through. Yeah, no. that's dope. Uh huh. Hey, shout out to my guy LaRussell, man. I love him. Hey, dude. man, we was at his concert. Man, we was, yeah, we was I at saw the, it. We was at the Pergola. I saw at it. The man. what? The Pergola. That's what he called his uh his his house. His back. The pergola. Yeah, his backyard. The it's just in his house. His backyard. His backyard, 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 backyard. Yep. Oh wow, mm -hmm. that's dope. It's packed out. How many people uh -huh. are there? I say like, that's like one fifty. Oh, I'm here. One, and I have a little cousin that's oh, been watching you. us for a long time. I, ne I didn't know until I uh, seen him at the show. Oh wow! And he was like, I've been watching y'all, man, uh, and this is my first time actually meeting him. Oh, mm -hmm. for real? Yeah, his name's oh, wow. Isaiah. Shout out to Isaiah, man. Hey, what's up, Isaiah? Yeah, Daddy yeah, issue. Yeah, meeting the cousin. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, follow me, D I O N L A C K, so I give y'all some good insights on these terrible actors in this uh, Hollywood world. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, we never went back to that, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we should have. Uh, please watch and time. subscribe to Lactose Entertainment on YouTube. Uh, you will find uh, me and Chaz have a podcast as well on. Uh, uh, you really struggling to get these words out, bro. Uh, Lacaroni and Chaz. There you uh, go. Thank you, Moyo. What you know about that? Comes out every Monday. Mm -hmm. uh, it is my hip hop show. Uh, DC's a part of it. Mm -hmm. um, Which one? Which, uh, huh? What show? What you know about that? Yeah. My hip hop show. Oh, yeah. Show. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. What you know Moyo? about hip hop? Do, no, we're not doing this. We got to stop. Okay. We got to end the fight. Yeah, we we're not doing this. Course. We're not doing this. <laughs> the hell you know. <laughs> I want to see this. I'm the now. producer. <laughs> um, um, and I also have a podcast with uh, Vanessa Graddick, which is a movie review. Quick 15 minutes. We just kind of break down the movie, make fun of it. And then thank you, Young Deuce. I have another podcast with Young Good Deuce. Good Lord. Uh, straight out of the comic book. We, we talk about comic book movies that are out. What do you know about right. comic book movies? <sighs> You just really wanted the smoke, mm -hmm. don't you? Because he, he don't be knowing what he be talking about. I'm not going to argue with that. Did you watch She-Hulk? Huh? Did you watch She-Hulk? Wasn't that? Well, I tapped out. <laughs> I didn't like She-Hulk. I, I watched got, it. I, I watched got about it three episodes <laughs> in. Shut up, Chaz, man. Please. <laughs> yeah. I loved She-Hulk. Do you like the ending of She-Hulk? I love She-Hulk. The it ending? Was fun. It doesn't feel like it's a part of the Marvel Universe. Right. Okay, but he's it was done. Fun Chaz, where, where can they find you, bro? Hey, man, I tell you, man. I mean, then I have a podcast where we argue about shit all day. All day. Uh, you can find me in Pleasanton with Tony Baker. Oh, you yeah, going to the right. Bay? Huh? Hey. You going to be on stage? Yeah, I'm hosting. What? Uh, for I haven't seen you on stage in a minute, bro. Nobody I want to see that. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I want to yeah. see this. Tony him is back. Where, where's him this? back. It's like you lost Good job getting like... him back on, on stage, Tom. <laughs> Tony. Good job getting him back on stage. Uh, Tony texted me and he was like, Wait, Who's featuring? Yo, bitch ass. B Lou. 
B Lou or oh, Tony uh, Chaz hosting yeah. B Lou. Hey, well, yeah, I was gonna have Chaz feature, but he was like, man, just look. Hey, Tony was like, in. that's look, gonna be a fun. One. I want to come. I'm pulling up. Come, you, you live there. You should, dude. You know, goddamn well. I don't All right, so no you guys bay. can find me. <laughs> you guys can find me <laughs> on uh, Brennan Produces. Was the O N B R E N N O N Produces on Instagram, YouTube at Chaz Rogers. Oh no, oh, Chaz wasn't even there. Why, y'all gonna keep going on these tangents? I got a one o'clock meeting. I gotta go. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. That's it. Chaz Rogers. Man, you'll meet next door, man. What time is it, Tom? 12 to 58, man. Yeah, it's two minutes. No, it's right here. He gonna, y'all going to just gonna keep going late. forever. You're going to be late to right your meeting. Where can they find Oh, you saw me saying that? I already said what I was going to say. All right, we'll get out of here. Y'all right. take care. We out here. Yeah, don't come back, man. We're not having you back on <laughs> Thank the show. Thank you, Kalani. Damn. That's messed, how you feel? You messed up the energy. <laughs> um, I'm nowhere this weekend. Right, I'm bro. local. I'll be at the crib this weekend. But next weekend, we will be in Pleasanton at Tommy T's. I'm, cold. I'm pulling uh, up. Five shows out there. Uh, so if you are anywhere in the Bay Area, get your tickets early. Yeah, your um, tickets. Get your tickets early. Come get with uh, it. My whole tour schedule is posted on my Instagram. So get your tickets early, man. Get your tickets early. And stop asking about cities that I already came to and then y'all didn't show up last time I was there. Right. Sick of this. Um, also, check out Verbal Cardio. Uh, we about to do that live. If you're in the chat right now, you can, you can join in on that live. And new episodes drop. Every Wednesday, and your uh, Gross Point Bake will be returning soon. So, yeah, y'all, we appreciate y'all. Shout out to the Chatsworth, man. Y'all are great in here. Good times, and uh, we out.